Ha ha! Whether it's a beer, a shot, or even a glass of wine, grab your favorite beverage as always, and welcome to your favorite live interactive video game podcast. That's right. It's the Level 857 Video Game Podcast with yours truly, the wonderful hosts, Al G857. The 20 Thad Stallion! <laughs> Sticks. <laughs> Turbo 857. And your boy, Big Chuck. What up? And the special guest we got on the podcast tonight needs no introduction. Nor is he a stranger to this podcast. He is the founder of the longest running program dedicated to gaming and geek news, reviews, and commentary in the entire world. Yeah. That's mm. Electric Playground, people. Mm. He's also the host and producer of the Electric Playground Network YouTube channel, which is a host to a variety of content, not limited to the rundown, EP Daily, the Rock and Ray Gun Awards, and his very own podcast, Vic's Basement, which I believe has just surpassed its 300-episode milestone back in January. Congratulations on that. Woo! Oh, very nice. He is a gaming news media pioneer whose limitless contributions to the industry is felt and appreciated through all corners, and we're talking about big and small game development studios, and publishers who have had the privilege of sitting across someone who demonstrates such poise, professionalism, and enthusiasm. Despite his mild-mannered and calm and collected demeanor, his commentary and opinions can always be relied upon to be no holds barred, straight to the point, doesn't pull punches, and he's pretty much the most honest person in the industry, gaming media. That's pretty much what it is. Please put your hands together and welcome, I believe, for the sixth time on this very podcast, the legendary Victor <laughs> Lucas. Hey. I need somebody to put a jacket on me and take it off <laughs> and intro like that. That is like unbelievable, man. Uh, that is like the nicest intro <laughs> I think I've ever heard. That was absolutely, I was starting to tear up a little bit. You guys are always <laughs> so freaking awesome to me and so kind and so fun to hang out with. Of course, I'm back. Thank you for having me. This is really cool. Yes. Thank you, sir. Welcome Thank you. Yes. I yes. feel like I just watched a trailer you, for the Victor Lucas movie. <laughs> <laughs> it was I tell you, was, I get, uh, this is your life. Uh, insane. <laughs> I honestly get nervous. Every time Victor comes on, I get freaking nervous. I'm like, okay. I was like, because I look at the old intros. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I, was like, I was like, I said a lot. I was like, and I, I have to keep, I have to build on that. You got to one up yourself. Man. I have to. I, I, have to. I, don't know how I was like, let's do it. Let's heat, do man. it. Absolutely. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to have props next time. <laughs> oh, like, man. Like, like, Noisemakers. You know, <laughs> That's amazing. It, it That's happen. amazing. I was like, I think uh, I put the most en energy into uh, Victor's yeah. intros and than we'll, anybody. We'll have, we'll have to answer. <laughs> <laughs> People get yeah, you're making Canadian squirm over here, which is awesome. It's like, oh my God, they're saying nice things. Oh my God. Oh, oh it's incredibly kind. I appreciate it so much. That's very nice. It's nice to have, you know, people that I, I respect mutually. I think you guys are fantastic. Thank Just you. paying attention to my work and and uh, you know pointing it out a little bit, and I I, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Yes, we appreciate Same. you. Thank you. Feelings Same. mutual. Feelings mutual. Been watching since yeah. I was a tiny tyke. I know, right? I was probably a teenager. No, you were like you were like forty something when you first started. Watching. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 it was a long time. Got some Benjamin buttons on this team here. Yeah, I can't remember. Ouch! Oh, but it was like a second. <laughs> Ever <laughs> since I can remember, he I've been said ever since Jason got off of yeah, Noah's yeah. Ark. <laughs> yeah, that says a lot about me. I think is what that says. <laughs> 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 like, 
<laughs> Holy shit, how long has this guy been doing this? Yeah, I know. I get that. I get that. You know, when I post a TikTok now, it's like, oh my God, I remember this guy. You know? <laughs> He's still alive. He still reviews video games. It's like, yeah, what else would I do? I love this stuff, man. I didn't just make it up. I didn't like, I didn't fake or phone in my passion for games. It's me. It's what I do. Hell yeah. Look absolutely. at the background. I mean, shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's that's it. That's that's you know what? This kind of represents so much of my uh, my history. All, you know, all my different passions through time. We got some Batman, it's Superman, all the Indiana Jones figures that Hasbro finally made. They're so damn good. This is new. The uh Ornithopter from Lego. So freaking good. So much fun to put together. Oh, wow. That Vectrex I paid 90 bucks for at Eaton's in Canada. Uh, Eaton's is done. They're, <laughs> they used to be a big department store. Uh -huh. And it came out at 400 bucks Canadian, and it was too much. And uh, I just waited until Milton Bradley went out of business <laughs> with the Vectrex, and then I, I bought it for 90 bucks. But it still works. It makes a buzzing sound. Do you guys, do you know what the Vectrex is? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you guys would know. Yeah. <laughs> You're, you're way too young to have bought it or played it back then, but uh, it's a cool little machine, vector graphics machine. Mm -hmm. And these are all the little replicates behind me. I made a nice little nook for myself at, that has become my prison <laughs> 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 for, <laughs> for electric playground. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I uh, yeah, I, I have, uh, I, I'm, I, it's, I, I miss working with my squad and all the different team members that I've been able to work with over the years, but uh, I've collected some friends. And they're all hanging with me. They're all right there. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. no, it's great that we have the technology that we could do things remotely, you know, and get a lot of I know. that way still. So, yeah. You know, yep. it's a post on every video that he never ages. <laughs> on yeah. every video. Yeah. Because <laughs> everyone I do. is always a surprise. Someone's like, I think it's still here. Oh my gosh, you never age. Now, Vic looks Yeah. I, I, he might be immortal. It, it's. It's goat blood, guys. It's amazing. You just you, cut, you slice the throat and then you just turn it upside down. You pour it all over yourself and then you drink it. Pentagram? Yeah. It's, it's, I, 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 I really recommend it. I'm thinking of building a whole line and, and just starting a TikTok uh, skincare thing. Should I do it? <laughs> that would be the most boys. fucked up video ever. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The greatest of all time. Boys. I'd be like, yeah, we had this guy on the podcast. I don't know. We'll just Make sure you do it before TikTok. I'm in prison. <laughs> Peta <TikTok>. is like <laughs> fire bombs. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Congress passed, passed. Yeah, it passed the bill. It's passed. not going to get banned, yeah. guys. It's not going to get banned. Wait a second. Did they? Did they say they want to ban TikTok? They want to. They want it to get sold. They want it out of where it's at. They want to get sold. To oh Jesus! Company. Yeah, they, they just want. So that's how, so they voted yes. Then the house. not. The House voted, the House yes, voted so yes. The Senate, the Senate has to uh, take it up, and then... it's worth two hundred billion dollars. No one's yeah. gonna just buy it's it. It's not gonna go. No, it's not <laughs> gonna go Call Elon. Away. There is. Well, I wonder why. No, Elon's making X a. I hate that I'm calling it X because it's still Twitter <laughs> yeah. to me. Yeah, they're, awesome. they're making it. Uh, Twitter. It's X. Twitter. They're, it's X. They're, Come on, don't they're make, making make it video it. firsts, so they're probably taking on that TikTok opportunity mm -hmm. head on right now. Is what they're probably doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They see. They see an opening. Call yep. Bezos. He's gonna have to exit. He's gonna get it. Ex oh. ah, see, yeah, that, yeah. That's why he called it. Yeah. Exit. He's leaving. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna be leaving. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> exit. Is that that's, the that's, is that the Alpha three five seven cam? Is that what that was? <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, guys, no, no. Do not that comment. That's exit. So I was gonna put the sound I effect, but I, I figured the face would. Disapproval. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. 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 What chat? They all have. All right. We got a good conversation that's going to happen today, y'all. Yeah. Uh, yes. So we want to get right to it. Oh, no. Yes. Yeah. So sure. uh, the main topic, we're going to start at the beginning of the show because we have a guest. That's what we yep. do. So are long development times killing gaming? That's the question mm. we have for you guys and for you, Vic. So we'd like to hear yep. what you think about that. The burning question. <laughs> uh. I think we, I don't know if it's killing gaming because I present to you exhibit A, which is a year called 2023, mm -hmm. where I reviewed so many freaking games and so many huge ones and so many great ones from January to December. I was running off my feet trying to keep up with all the stuff that was out there. And my job is to play everything. So I think last year kind of showed that there is tons of choice out there, big games and small games and stuff. 
But I do think conceptually what's happened is the mid-tier development, the double A stuff that used to be a big part of the video game industry and was a huge part of our shows when we were on TV because we'd have so many games would come out in a year and I'd have different review teams in different cities able to handle th this game and that game. And we made a daily reviews on the run show where we were reviewing you know, four games a day or something like that. And, and there was just tons and tons of content being made. It's changed, but there's this expectation from game players, especially because it's so related to the amount of money that things cost, that the, the visuals are going to one up what we saw every time things come up to bat, you know, and if there's any kind of notch backwards, that's an immediate, like, look what's happening with Rise of the Ronin right now. Everybody's just dogging on the visuals in that game. And it's an ambitious game. It might not look like I don't know, state of the art last of us or something like that, but it's still a good looking game. And the developers hear all of that noise, the crescendo of, of, uh, negativity. And then they have to pour the investments and, and, and the, uh, the time allotment to try to make everything look a lot better. Um, so I, I don't, I don't think the game industry is really letting us down. I think there's still tons of stuff to jump into. I think 2023, was probably the best year for games ever, you know, just in terms of the the quality. We had Alan Wake 2 and Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and, uh, you know, Armored Core 6, man. That that was just an insanely good experience. Started with Fire Emblem Engage at the beginning of the year. Yes. Um, that was January. I mean, I'll tell, you, okay. I'll tell you. That was January. Yeah, that was January. I forgot and I'll tell you what, like, nin Nintendo uh, had, like, 19 games last year that they made. You know, and they had they hit every one of their they had a Kirby game, they had a Fire Emblem game, they had the F Zero, they had Metroid, they they had you know some Mario experience. Like I'm I'm not thinking of it. Oh, Super Mario RPG. They had like so many. Oh, Mario Odyssey or Mario um, Wonder, Wonder was Wonder. insane. So beautiful. What about? So I don't know, man. I think it's really easy to. Uh, get into this mode and i make jokes of this on vix basement quite often it's like we're telling the business how to how to run itself you know and mm -hmm. they're delivering good things it i think the biggest challenge is more on the cost side for i think what's happening is honestly is people are busy there's more choice than ever before for entertainment mm -hmm. and games are too long and now games are really priced at a premium expense, like premium prices, and they cost a fortune to make. And so that's like a, there's a lot of ingredients in there that is making games l l less of a desirable choice for most people. And that needs to be looked at. You know, I feel like like a huge reason why Spider-Man 3 was my favorite game of 2023 was that it didn't waste a second. It was onto amazing action and beautiful storytelling and then awesome action and surprise and all the way through the game. And I beat the game and I'm like, oh, my God, I don't want to leave this world. I want to feel that. I want to want more at the end of games. And I think games so often now are like, good Lord, when is this going to be done? <laughs> you know, yeah. I like I love this thing, but. Oh my God, I don't want to walk over there. Oh, you know, like I just want to finish this freaking thing. And how is that a how is that healthy for the rest of the industry? Maybe you've captured uh, you know, an audience member for your experience in that game, but there's more you know, industry to prop up. There's more choices for for people to kind of look at. And uh I think, you know, Sean Layden was in the news recently. He was talking about the same thing. I've kind of been saying this forever. I, I feel like games should be less expensive to buy and they should be more um, inclusive in, in terms of appealing to more people. Um, um, and that's a tough one. I know that. Yeah, but tough. they should be less expensive to buy and they should be more considerate of people's time. And uh, again, easy for me to just say that or spout that it's very hard to thread the needle when you're when you're on the development side um but what do you guys think well you mentioned nintendo and their development yeah. level seems to be legit because their system is kind of in comparison to the other systems underpowered and yep. they don't put as much time and energy into graphics as the other companies would do and that's, that's why true that's why sony and microsoft's games are in development hell 
it hmm. seems, oh. because they like n- how many games did they bring out in comparison to Nintendo's 19 last year as a first yeah. party? Uh, it's 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 hugely different, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if that if it's like that's the second like the double A games, no triple A games. <laughs> if if right. if only yeah. just maybe one or two Hell Divers. Well, those are yeah. probably considered yeah. like double A until I mean nobody right. understood that it would make as much as it did. But as far as money, yeah. And Hell Divers is an excellent example. I mean that that yeah. is a game that took seven years or whatever to make though. Yeah, but it's a perfect example of technology and and visuals that don't look state of the art but are pr- plenty good enough, yeah. mm-hmm. and it's super fun. And this is what I don't understand with with Sony in particular. Like they have all of these terrific franchises that are kind of double A positioned, like a new Jack and Daxter that uh, looks like a PS3 game but runs at 60 frames per second. Money, you know. I, I asked this of Sucker Punch for um, Sly Cooper when I was talking with team members between two and three. They were making a Sly Cooper PS3 game, and I'm like, it looks like a cartoon on the PS2. Is it going to look like more of a cartoon on the PS3? <laughs> and it kind of did, but it, you know, it probably went down to 30 frames per second. I can't remember, but it, it's like just make it look like the PS3, but run at 60 frames a second. You know, and and where's the Sly Cooper game? That would be amazing to play a new Sly Cooper game. Are we looking at Sly Cooper footage? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! What the hell? L is sorry, AI. That me, man. <laughs> That's evil insane. Behind the scene, man. <laughs> How do you have Sly Cooper footage ready to go? That's incredible. <laughs> I'm like an octopus. I got. I, I, I'm man. hiring Al. <laughs> Screw that. Come to Vancouver. <laughs> That's the guy that over. This is the interview right now. Well, <laughs> it was nice while it lasted. <laughs> He's like, I'm hiring you. You're not working for these guys anymore. They're not paying you. It's level you eight, five, six now. Look at what I did. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, Al. <laughs> Vancouver's a nice city, man. I've been there. It's nice. It is. It is. <laughs> so I don't know. Like it, it's so easy to just you know spew out a bunch of ideas around this, but I do feel uh, there's a lot of like how many tweets and and messages do we all post and see about? Man, I miss that. Man, I miss that. And Sony owns a lot of them, you know. And the one thing that Nintendo does is they really know that and that's their whole business model they know we're missing f-zero and you know what we're not going to make you a brand new f-zero this year but take a look at this one that looks like the super nintendo it's still really fun and Mm -hmm. it's free if you're a nintendo switch online subscriber sony could be doing that like crazy you know they have the they have the capital they have the know-how they have the brands they have the franchises and now xbox does too you know they didn't before they went shopping, but they're ready to go. (laughs) (laughs) The thing about them, though, is that those titles that they're thinking of bringing out are going to be more like they they want it to be a live service because I understood it makes the most money. Right. No, Um, man. That's that's chasing. Well, Nintendo's not thinking as of right now. I don't know what they're going to do on the next system, but they're not thinking of live service games, and that's why they've consistently bought out titles like Mm. to satisfy their fan base. But I don't know. Like even even Helldivers is considered pretty much live service. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's 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 lucky that it's like the type of live service that it is because if it was like a Fortnite, people are tired of that. Right. And most. Oh, I don't know about are, that, man. Fortnite's well, not the game more itself. popular than ever right now. Not the game itself. I mean, it's other companies part. bringing yeah. out titles that are like Fortnite. Yeah. Right. Like yes. That live service. Right. Fortnite has it in the corner. Like that's their thing. Mm-hmm. Right. But if it takes this much to bring out something like. When Fortnite first got popular, mm-hmm. they were thinking, "Let's make a game that's gonna be like Fortnite, so we can, we can get yeah. that money." And by by the time that it's done, <laughs> it's way far out and it's old. It's done. Those, those games will be over yeah. in a month, right? And it's happened. Over those are over the most over. expensive games to make, I think. You know, when you're when you're not you're not only trying to compete with sort of triple A. Uh, expectation with your live service thing, but you also have to have this monthly burn of hiring developers to make uh, hats and (laughs) shirts, you know, like, I don't know. It seems like soul crushing work to me. And I don't mean to be, uh, you know, offending people that have work, you know, there's a lot of layoffs and stuff out there, but um, what I do know about, about uh, live service is that there won't be room for lots and lots of winners in that space. There might be 10, that are, are very successful, but w- what a cat fight that is. And uh, 
you know, I think Nintendo's a very different strategy than PlayStation and Xbox, you know, obviously. But I think they look at it as a, they're like a toy company and they release toys, mm -hmm. you know. They, they release these finished experiences that are unbelievably gameplay tested before they put the polish on it. And that's what they do over and over again. And so they probably have an R&D team that's just working on mechanics and coming up with loopy new things that they can add to key franchises. And they're just constantly riffing on that. I don't think that they're, they're ever starting at Nintendo with, what's a good story we can tell in a Legend of Zelda game? I don't think they yeah. think like that. I think they, they go, uh, um, we're going to do it a game where you can like glue a giant log to <laughs> some wheels and then you can and then you can zip yourself up through a a, a lever and or through a, a a platform and then you can pull up the log with wheels and then you can drop it on some goblins kids will love it and they're right you know <laughs> they sold cardboard yeah. man come on yeah they did, they did yeah. sell cardboard they sold cardboard <laughs> yeah, they did. with the lavo yes yes, yes. i don't yeah. know how much, like, really? but they did yeah that's great but yeah. you know even with legend of even with tears that's a 200 hour game mm. you know if you're just trying to finish the story that's a 200 hour game and and i don't know i, I don't know how much business sense that makes i mean i think it's a tremendous amount of value for the player mm -hmm. but it's a it's really traps a player in that world for a very long time yep. and uh you know and now they have to beat that you know that's the idea now going forward is like what do we do that's even bigger that's than the bigger legend of zelda yeah. tears of the king right. and I, you know i don't know if that's healthy you know because even mm -hmm. nintendo is like they're squeezing people away like super mario brothers wonder is i i didn't rate it a perfect score but it's kind of in my mind now because it's such a like spider-man it's such a perfectly tuned experience mm -hmm. and you can remember the whole thing you can play it again in your mind and then to go yeah. back to it which i can't wait to do one day i know how perfect it's going to feel i i kind of feel like it's a perfect game now you know it's an eternal game, you know, like yep. the classic Mario stuff. And I think Alan Wake 2 is kind of like that, too. I think uh, uh, Alan Wake 2 is so different and weird, and the gameplay might not be as, um, you know, uh, generous as something like a Resident Evil experience. Resident Evil 4 actually fits into this category quite well as well, where there isn't any sense of like you're churning you know you're just getting lost in this weird experience that that the developers are throwing at you and it's a little it's a little twisted and strange and and uh you don't know what's coming but you want to you're on for the whole damn ride and i don't know i think we need i think we need more games that think like that they're almost like limited series you know when you watch a cool thing on hbo that that you know how it's intimidating to go to a show and there's seven seasons and yep, you're like, yep, Jesus, yeah. man, I oh, can't yeah. make this commitment, but <laughs> yeah. I'll watch, I'll watch, uh, have you guys seen station 11? No, I no, no. I oh I man. Yeah. You I big fans of the last of us. Last of us. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, this is, uh, uh, a different take on a dystopia and it's only, I think it's like nine episodes. It's like the watchman. The watchman was so freaking incredible the television show yeah. but the uh uh the station 11 is better than that but uh, station 11 is i i don't want to hype it up too much but you should absolutely watch that but it's amazing to see a piece of content that it, it is contained and i feel like games get really messy with that yep. and uh and that's part of this equation too i think on how long games take to make and how expensive they are and how the companies are trying to justify these prices and I don't know if they're they're like justifying the prices to an established group of people that just moves from one console to another. And some people leave and then, you know, a few people kind of and we're not really growing the pie with AAA. Like it's not really expanding. We're not going from like, what are we going to hit up? Maybe 150 million switches. Um, we certainly didn't get that with the Wii, uh, uh, Wii U, I mean, um, the Wii, actually. Um, PlayStation 5. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And the Wii didn't get there either. Like we aren't ex exponentially growing and we're also not hitting the exact same target every single time either mm. with 
these consoles, That's you know, and maybe PC. it's different now that the machines are going to the, or all the companies are publishing the PC and uh, maybe Nintendo will do that down the road as well. So they're reaching more people there, but. I mean, that's what I'm all about. It's these these machines are interesting, and the and this console war has kind of uh, served its purpose. But the uh, the story is the is the software and what game creators can build for us, and and uh, where they can take us. And and I feel like the industry now, as everything is kind of you know all these layoffs and all these big changes and all that stuff. And you're asking a terrific question about the length of of development times. But I think as everybody is looking at all of this inward stuff right now and i'm sure i'm sure this is going to be a pretty heavy and impactful gdc next week um i think the big question that developers should be asking themselves is how do we get more people to give a shit how do we get more people in to play not the same people not a little less than last generation how do we get more people in and i i don't know if that answer is uh hundred dollar 200 hour games i don't i don't think that's the right answer yeah yeah victor you said earlier that uh you think games should be shorter and cost less do you have a price yeah. point and a game length in your head you I, I mean i used to think 40 was a good one mm -hmm. um maybe 40 american and 50 canadian mm -hmm. but I, I that's such a dramatic <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yes that's you know that's such a dramatic uh did I say that right? 40 American, 50 Canadian? Yeah. I yeah. Think that, I think yeah. yeah. That makes okay. sense. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, that's that's a big price drop. And, and it, you know, Ben Silverman told me that it, it would, uh, and Seamus um, Blackley also talked about this too. Uh, it's, there's so many costs involved and some of it is still tied to the physical media business, but um it would be great if games were, I, I mean, Batman Arkham Asylum, I don't remember exactly what the price was, but I think Batman Arkham Asylum came out at 40 bucks. It was a test from Warner Brothers. Mm -hmm. And that was the game of the year that year, I, in my opinion, and many others. Um, and I think part of the equation for its massive success was that it was not unattainable. And I mm -hmm. think I have that price point wrong. right. Somebody, holy crap. Al, you're incredible. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I uh, I I think that it, some huge title, some big AAA game that everybody wants, if they and maybe it's 15 hours, maybe it's a 10 hour game, but everybody wants to play it, and they come out at 40 bucks or 50 bucks. It's too bad that Prince of Persia: The Lost Crown didn't come out cheaper, mm -hmm. um, because everybody is justifying the price on the lost crown sort of tied to its visuals, but it's a long game. It's a beautiful game. I'm sure. Did you guys play it? Did everybody have a I chance to check it out? Or some demo. of you? Yeah, we beat the demo. It, it's, it's sitting in my, yet. it's sitting in my demo. wish list. It's on, on my, backlog. Yeah. it's on my backlog, no. but the demo. Oh, so, so you guys are the reasons why it failed. Okay. I see. <laughs> I see. You, that you guys be, are supposed to be the, that would be correct. Yeah. Yeah. That would be the, correct. You guys are supposed to be the paragon of, yeah. of taste and good choices in video games. And, and you let this one slide. I see. It's definitely worth playing. But what's the price? The price. Is it thirty yeah. nine? That's up there. It's it's up there, it's right? Up there it's a little bit. It's it, not thirty nine. Well, it, they dropped it now. It's but they should have come out at that price. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I, I, you right. know, the quality isn't like the game quality and what all the content that's in there doesn't mm -hmm. uh, just. I, and sometimes it can backfire for sure. Yeah. But in this case, it's too bad that it didn't come out at a lower price mm -hmm. because that would have been part of the story around it, and more people I think would have jumped in to play it. But who knows? Because the industry is so effed up on value and time and yep. we got all these free to play games that people just, that's all they do is they can log into Fortnite and now they're a Lego turtle and, and uh, you know, and then <laughs> like I see Ghostbusters is, is uh, jumping into uh, um, uh, destiny two. Did you guys see that? There's no, the, like no. a Ghostbusters. Oh, Ghostbusters yeah. Destiny it's like, no. what's what? happening? Jesus. What the hell? Well, people, <laughs> people are used to Steam prices. They used to indie game prices. They used to phone yes. prices. And when they see yep. a 2D game nowadays, they're like, oh, that should be less than 40, less than 20, stuff like that. Yeah. And everybody yep. forgets that Super Nintendo games used to be 70 bucks. Mm. And the yeah. 90s. Fantasy Star 4 was 100. And they were games yeah. higher. Yeah, and those games. Yeah, but oh the, God, the, the thing. thing my my comment on all that is if those prices were great 
when video games were fully magic. Like we had no idea how they were working, how they got made, who made them, how the business existed at all, how a cartridge got put in a box, how how you could go and rent something at Blockbuster. Like we didn't know anything about the business at all. And it was like, okay, well, that's what it costs to have magic in your house. I'm going to go spend 70 bucks. We have now had 50 thousand games a year <laughs> since then <laughs> and ton, uh, tons of television and websites and newspapers and and uh news and all kinds of articles and you know and lots of negative stuff around video games and the price to manufacture the content especially if there a lot of this stuff is digital has started to drop to actually ship out technology has gotten a lot cheaper as well like when we were on the road uh, visiting game companies to talk about uh, uh, N64 software. God damn, I'm old. We we would uh, <laughs> uh, we'd we'd go into their spaces and they'd have uh, Silicon Graphics workstations, and each one of those was like fifty thousand American or something like that Ooh, to be able to just geez. make the graphics for something. And now you can get a yeah. you know a, an off the shelf laptop and and uh, have. Re- I mean, Ben <laughs> Benjamin Rivers in Toronto makes his games on his iPad. You know, like there's lots of really affordable technology for players or for makers out there. And so it's a salary game. And what we're seeing is the investments on humans is expensive because they're trying to get closer and closer to photo real fidelity and, and, uh, you know, the top of the line, real time rendered um, animation and, uh, which is great because we need those games. Like The Last of Us Two is much more than a game at this point. You know, it's it's a uh, yeah. We need that, and we need that ambition. But uh, you know, and God of War, and oh, yeah. uh, it looks like the uh, the next Hellblade game is going to deliver a lot of that as well. You know, this beautiful ambition. Um, you know, it's going to be amazing to play Ghost of Tsushima again on the PC and to see all of that even in richer detail. Uh, we need all of that kind of stuff. But um, I I don't think that the story should be hundred dollar games. Mm-hmm. I think you're <laughs> you're you're creating another blockade for people out there yeah. to go. Well, you know what? Fortnite's great. I'll I'll just yeah. play that tonight. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Well, just think of stuff back in the day like Mega Man. Yeah. For yeah. Nintendo, Nintendo. I would say those the uh, generation gap between systems back then was. Give or take a, a good five years of video game development. I mean, the systems are out maybe 10, 20 years. But as far as developers making games for the systems in a healthy environment, say about five years. And then you get your next systems. Mm-hmm. We yeah. had six Mega Man games on, Nintendo. on, the, the, on the NES. Yeah. yeah. Now, all good. That's, all good. that's in comparison to, say, a God of War. Even back on PS2, right? PS2 had mm-hmm. three, three God of Wars. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now we're lucky to get one, if yeah, that. One per maybe generation. two. One per generation. Maybe yeah. two, like at the very end of the generation. And we have a good seven to eight year run now in these systems. Yeah. So development has taken. I mean, listen, all right, granted, Capcom was the king of DLC <laughs> back in the day before we could do that. Yep. That's why so many Street Fighters <laughs> came out. Let's swap. Just making, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they said, oh, Mega Man can slide in this one? Bring it out. <laughs> like, 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 so little things made a sequel back then, which is totally different than what it is now. But say something like uh, Donkey Kong Country and Donkey Kong Country Three, like the you would never think, looking at something like Mario World, that they can do render graphics like that on the same system because they took the time to actually bring out so many games for the system. They learned the ins and outs of that particular system. Now they bring out one game. They don't learn anything about the system, and technology is moving too fast. They move on to another system completely. They never learn anything cool about the systems that are out. And by the time they're ready Nintendo's to do it, got a philosophy on that, though. Mm-hmm. They do, eh? Like, they're, they're, they, uh, like they didn't release a... Well, it's weird that they released a sequel to Breath of the Wild uh, in a one console generation because mm-hmm. Breath of the Wild was so, such a defining moment for games. Mm-hmm. Um, but I feel like Tears is probably part of the story of Switch 2. Um, but they actually... I, I'm sure you guys heard this, but they actually talked to the Ubisoft team, Yves Guillemot and, and others over there with um, the Mario plus Rabbids. Uh, I forget the Sparks of Hope. Sparks of Hope. Excellent 
excellent Nintendo Switch game. Again, another Ubisoft title that that didn't hit expectations. But they Nintendo said you should slow down on delivering these experiences. There shouldn't be two of these in one console generation. Mm. They were su suggesting that this should have been a Nintendo Switch 2 game. And and UB, I think, recognizes that it, it was good enough that they should have held on. I mean, one of the issues with the game is it, it does slow down and, and um, chugs with its frame rate a little bit. Mm -hmm. Beautiful experience, though. And I, I, you know, you see that with Nintendo, like they're not, they didn't have Mar Super Mario 64 2 on the N64. Mm -hmm. They didn't have Super Mario Odyssey or Super Mario uh, Sunshine 2 on the GameCube. Good, they're good. We don't need that. pretty good. <laughs> yeah, we I like Sunshine, really? <laughs> but they're pretty. Yeah, I did. I enjoyed it. I, I, uh, but they, they are pretty good at making that release. Like we haven't had a Mario Kart game again on Switch. Mm -hmm. You know, exactly. biggest selling game that they've got. It still sells. They're pretty good with that. And I think it's I think it's okay to have a defining title on your platform. And I think Sega and Xbox have kind of adopted that for different reasons, maybe that you know, maybe the development time and the cost and and the ambition of the two of the studios is so large. But there you guys are correct that there is a the thing that I always think about. Um, is the PlayStation 3 era where Naughty Dog delivered four games. Yeah. You know, Uncharted 1 through 3 are all, uh, 2 is like perfect. 3 was great and oh, 1 was so very cool. good. And The Last of Us all on one machine. Yeah. And That's that is also, insane. Yeah, to me. The Last of Us, yeah. yeah. Without that, yeah. who knows what that would have turned out? Oh, like. Vic, I wanted to ask you yeah. something because uh, you just mentioned Sega. What did you think about those uh, reveals of those? Uh, new games coming out in the future and uh what do you think that means do you think uh there might be a little glimmer of hope maybe sometime in the future they might be a new sega console you think it's just uh <laughs> just wishful thinking at this point uh, i think they might do another classic console i mean i think they probably have some kind of a dreamcast um micro or something like that it would be amazing if there was some kind of uh uh storefront where people could you know, download all of that stuff. I I, un I don't understand why they haven't just picked up on that. By the way, like like the Sega channel, like <laughs> yeah. I that mean, like honestly, an like a yeah, like a new version of the Sega channel. I think it's honestly it's wonderful for any of these IP holders to recognize the value in their existing properties and to try to find a new way to bring them out for people. I think the industry is so quick. I mean, this is a preservation dilemma right now, but the industry is so quick to transition to trends and to move on to the next thing. And what we've seen time and time again with games is that if companies are given a couple of shots or three shots, especially, uh, the, I, I, we reach new plateaus for the future of the medium, you know? And that was true with uh, uh, Burnout 3. And Grand Theft Auto 3, um, you know, Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit. Like, there's just a lot of different things that we can point to where things just started to click for these teams mm -hmm. when they got further in their talent and further in their uh, ability with, with crafting these experiences. And Sega's got such a freaking rich heritage. Like, I'd love to see a new mm -hmm. Daytona. I'd love to see a new Sega Rally. I, I can't wait for to see what they're crazy taxi is going to be panzer dragoon is just sitting there like a remake of panzer dragoon saga would be amazing oh, that's one of the most oh, dear God. Yeah, saga. like a full-on oh, final fantasy 7 style remake of of uh panzer dragoon saga with 3d flying dragons and stuff like that i mean that's most people don't even know what the hell i'm talking about and and <laughs> that was the competition that's <laughs> that that's the problem with the business you know the movie industry doesn't do that you know, even when you're, I was just watching, because we're all watching these stupid one minute videos on whatever app we're on now, but I, I, there's Letterbox has been asking actors what their four favorite films are. And mm -hmm. I don't know if this is true from the people that are talking about stuff, but they invariably, you know, highlight some black and white movie and they talk about some classic thing that they watched. Mm -hmm. There is this energy in Hollywood to honor its history and its heritage. Yeah. And in video games, like most people don't know who Eugene Jarvis is anymore. And he's a goddamn legend. 
You know, I, I just had him on the podcast. He's the guy that created the twin stick shooter. He he made Defender and Robotron, Robotron yeah. and he is and Cruisin' uh, Blast was his most recent console game. But he is running Raw Thrills, which is single handedly making any barcade in in the world relevant right now because they've got all of these licenses and he he chose the path of making arcade games as opposed mm -hmm. to making um console stuff because he loves the the whole hardware physicality of the the content he's always been able to make but he worked at midway for years there's a, a lot of eugene jarvis's out there that I, even i don't know you know and i've had the luxury to be in this biz for a long time and i just uh i i would like us to know the brands and not just as <laughs> emulated cartridges and yeah. and uh you know people like me uh, talk about remember when and the good old days or they go into their their uh library and they pull out some cartridge i mean i, I see this happening with me and my daughter all the time it's like she'll she'd rather be playing her roblox than yeah. uh I'd say you're you're playing a ripoff of a game we have. <laughs> can, I get you, can I get you the game yeah. that made this thing possible? Can I do that? Can I show you? And she's like, I don't want that old graphic thing, Dad. I don't want to play those old graphics. I, I like I like my blocky Roblox graphics. That's awesome. And and uh, and the games industry just seems to you know just go yeah you know games are disposable and they're they're gone and. But then you see the excitement, even Contra. And I know there's some disappointment with Contra on the Switch, and I get it, and could have been better. And I think the thing with Contra, I, I really like the game. I think it's a blast. But the the thing with the new Contra is that Way Forward carries so much weight for us mm -hmm. fiends for retro. We know what they're capable of. And, you know, Shredder's Revenge and Streets of Rage 4 mm -hmm. have also put a quality bar on these retro reinventions that, that that's kind of what we expected. And it's not there. It's not quite there. Um, even Metroid dread, I think, uh, and Prince of Persia lost crown. It's like, it's such a beautiful connection to the original Prince of Persia games. Um, but, uh, I think we need to, I, yeah, we need to remember this stuff and I'm super excited to see what Sega's doing. I, you know, Konami takes a lot of heat, but I am really happy that they, are figuring it out you know they're they're a company in inside of a bigger company that makes more money we all know this with other things besides video games but inside there's a group of people <laughs> fighting to try to make games and find the money to make these games and get them out and they know how valuable i mean they made that that compilation the the uh the the turtles the cat collection, manga yep. collection yeah. The, yeah. yeah they Which made that happen and they got all, that's, that's really that's good. incredible yeah, man, I was so happy when that came out, and I loved reviewing it and talking with the with the team on it. And, so what and they made that happen, you know, like that. That was uh, you know, a big a big job, and they got all of the the assets from the old days and put them in. I mean, that's a treasure trove of great games yep. and history and information on on what Konami's practices were. And I don't know how many of those devs are still at the. Um, at the studios in, in Japan that Konami had, you know, they had the best in the world for 2d game play, you know? Um, and I doubt they have a lot of those people, but they made amazing games. And yep. um, yeah, it, I, I love to see these studios, these companies treat their classics correctly, you know, and, and find a way to get them to people. Cause uh, I, I, I'm all for emulation and I know there's a whole bunch of different ways to preserve things. And there, like, there is this movement out there with people, uh, um, feeling really freaked out that the games media or games industry is just like forgetting its past. And there's tons of games that just get removed from stores and all that stuff. But it also kind of breaks my heart that that's the way that this is being served to us. I feel like if the companies found a way to work together to get us these classic experiences in a way that uh, funnels some money back to these studios so they can bring us new, th like, wouldn't you guys like, I've said this forever, but wouldn't you guys like Batman 2 for the NES? Wouldn't you like <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah, the, the people that's, Batman 2? <laughs> right, like, is yeah, purple, but, but made in 2024. <laughs> I actually have been, I mean, I, I would love that. Castlevania made like the Netflix series. I've been, I've been dying for that. Oh, that'd be rad. 
Yeah. So I really well, you got Simon Belmont's Transylvania Adventure, right? I think that was... No. <laughs> what the no. hell is that? That's not Konami. And it's not oh, no, a that's, Bel- a, that's, that's not a Belmont. That's like a <laughs> spin-off spoof, but it still looks good. It does it's, look a, good. it's a spin-off spoof. It's you got to rely on indies to do that. Castlevania I've been dying for, man. Hey, Vic, I have a question for you from the chat. Um, yep. Marish Marish wants to hear your opinion on Sweet Baby Ink slash Gamergate 2. Yeah. That's cool. I'm not wading into that shit. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> what it's is track? My it's man, track. I have no idea. <laughs> what is that? I don't, know I don't what even that know what that is. Neither do I. But but Vic saw it and he's like, "Nah, I'm not about that." <laughs> he's like, I don't well, even know what that is. I got a question about nope. uh, some more into on what the uh, what the Sega stuff did. So they announced a whole bunch of titles at once, right? Hey, hold on, I want to say one thing about the sweet baby thing. <laughs> We are spending too much time being negative about video games. Mm. Agreed. Have some fucking percent. perspective. Mm. We are spending too much fucking time being negative about video games. There are real things in the world to be upset about and freaked yeah. out about. We are spending too much fucking time being upset about video games. You yep. guys got to put that shit away. I like that sound bite. <laughs> Yo, like Vic it. is yeah, being yeah, a little yeah. spicy tonight. I, li- I, like, <laughs> I like it. I like let's it. shout out this the chat true. real quick. Yes. We, can, we got a lot of people in the chat. We yes, got let's do it. We got the bravery and greed. Hey, Three bravery and greed. We got Cafe three, three. Fox. Three, three. We got Scott P. Three, three. We got Harish Marish. Three, three. Solomon McNeil. Three, three. <laughs> Hit Start Studios. Hit Start Studios. Three, three. We have <laughs> Brave Cave. Yeah, and yep. that's it. I think that's it. Brave. Welcome, hey, everybody. Well, yeah. the, those are the only people that are talking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we got a bunch of lurkers. We got yeah, lurkers. We got, we got some people. And just... bravery, uh, bravery and greed is Record Games. They represent yes. Record Games. Yes. Awesome. Just for, cool. for those who don't know, in the, su- uh, in the studio. And you can see us playing the game on the channel. Yes. Yeah. We have to get back to that. And we're going to beat that damn that. game. <laughs> we have to All right. Back. Sometime this year. Are we? <laughs> All right. So get back What's to the game? Stuff. What's the game? Bravery and greed. Bravery and greed. Indie title. I haven't even heard of this. Oh, bravery and greed four players cool. sprite based hack and slash it's kind of uh got a little bit of a gauntlet and smash brothers inspiration it's actually pretty cool and it's fast paced pretty pretty fast yeah. wicked you guys always light me up man you always there give you me go. great ideas to go out and check these things out i love your tastes i didn't ask the i was really on the fence with the rock and reagan awards this year uh, I didn't, so I didn't go out to the wider community. I didn't know if I was going to do it. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, all the layoff news was hitting me, um, and and there's so much work to put into them too. And I I was just feeling like we had such a crazy year, crazy year, um, a crazy year. And it was like every game was great. It's like what the hell? Like <laughs> how do I how do I even say what is better than the other? It's such a, it's it's such a, it's a, it's a preference, all a preference thing. You know that's what it is. Yeah. Like, what do you prefer? Yeah. And but I ended up just going out to the community, and uh, uh, I can't remember the question that I asked them beyond what their favorite game was. I think maybe their favorite developer, mm. and I just wanted to put some love back there. And then I had a lot of fun putting it all together. But I didn't go out to to you guys. So you know, if you feel slighted, please don't. I just didn't reach out to the, uh, to the, uh, you know, the influence. Uh, I s- scratch that to the <laughs> people that make. I, I'm going to just say media to the media space. No, it's not, it's it's all so reductive. All of it. You guys are media. This is media now. <laughs> media. <laughs> um. Well, if you want a key for bravery and greed, uh, they are offering you one, Victor. Oh, ah, yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. uh, um, it, it's all good. I'd love it if you offered it up to the chat. I can I can score that. Don't you worry, braver and greed people. Okay. But okay. I'd yeah, love yeah. for you to right. offer the code you were going to give to me to the chat. That no, would be very cool. Even better. Just send it to level eight five seven. We'll use it for our giveaway. We already gave away one bravery. There you and go. Greed. Uh, or or right. copy. What? what if they just throw it in the chat and whoever gets it first gets it? Hey, uh, <laughs> let them <laughs> scramble for it. I, <laughs> I, I, I want to see good. them fight each other for it. I want to use it for the giveaway. A bot will grab it. Uh, yeah, a bot will grab it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, shout out to The Last Disciple. Oh. <laughs> World of Bizarre. Last Disciple. There goes Bizarre. And Kid Amazing. Yeah. Kid Amazing, it's been a minute. Everybody Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, shout it's out to It's a party now, guys. It's a party. It is a freaking party. Where's the champagne? That's great. 
I'm gonna get back to my question though. Was, ahead, um, was it my right. swearing? Did everybody tune in when I started swearing? Is, is that what happened? Yo, Vic is Carson, get in here. <laughs> I, I just read all the hate every day, and I, I turn, I put on the stupid apps. I so, I scroll through them. It's like, what is what is wrong with people? Like, what the hell? What the hell? What happened what, to humans? <laughs> every day, it's like, okay, we all hate this. Now we hate that. We hate this. We hate that. It's like oh. we're playing video games. Yeah. You know what the hell, guys? Yeah. You know, it's supposed to be Anyways. fun. Shine light on the stuff that deserves to be shown to everyone. It's right. the good thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like this yeah. podcast. It's not helping the golem sales when you talk about how bad it is. So, <laughs> right. so talk sales. about stuff mm. that can help the industry. Um, oh, okay. So my question was, so you saw how Sega released their trailers, right? They all were yeah. one thing. They had no date. They said it's in the works. And the way, speaking of the question, <laughs> the development times. We have no idea how yeah. long or when those titles are coming out or what it's coming out for. And to go back to, let's say, a Nintendo, when they announced seven years ago mm. that a Metroid Prime 4 was going to be coming out. Yeah. So <laughs> how do you feel about gaming companies announcing things way too early? Yeah, that's a problem. I think we we love the shadow drops, don't we? Oh, that's yeah. always that super great, exciting. Yeah, Rush, yeah, one of the best. Yeah, I, I mean, so they they have to uh, they have to sell the consoles every quarter, and so they need to show us the stuff that people will want to be hyped for. And this work takes so long; it just really does. You know, I don't know if there's an easy answer for this. I think Nintendo made a very hard choice, but they know their quality standards, and they said, "Nope, start again. We're going to give it to these guys," and um. They know what they're doing. And I I, I think the tough thing is we're, and God, it, it gets so tricky because what we're about to enter into is studios using every company, every business is going to use AI. And we're about to enter into this world where we're going to have a lot of um, tools to build scraped sequels to things that we like, whether they're TV shows or movies or games or whatever. And I'm, I'm a little, I'm, I'm very worried that that is going to be the plaything in games coming up where people are just going to say, well, they didn't make that Spider-Man multiplayer game, but I'm going to using this AI tool. That's just going to scrape Spider-Man one and two and, and make it multiplayer. And I, I know that's, stupid that i just said that because i don't know anything about the amount of work that actually means but i also know that ai is going to become um unbelievably powerful It'll be your next and, Power game. Mm. Skynet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but then what does that mean for the people that are actually working to surprise us with their inventions their inventiveness and their ambitions mm -hmm. and uh and it's so it's so, I mean, we can want all of these things, but I feel like it's so arrogant to just assume that everybody is doing it wrong because we have no real conception of how, how difficult it is. Even, you know, you guys running your squad, you probably have an idea of what it would take if all of you had some programming background and some art background to be able to build a game as five people. And those games are always welcome and very cool, those smaller experiences out there. And I've run a company with 40 people and, and different, you know, people working remotely and stuff like that. And so I have some semblance of what that would mean to uh, work on an indie level game that had a little more budget. But when we're talking about these AAA experiences that change everything, mm. we have no idea. And there's, I think there's very few people in the world that really do because yeah. they're, you know, they're, they're not just making a game. They're making a whole world. They're making, yeah. Yeah. you know, everything that we see in a whole world and they're trying to make it as believable to the, you know, the, the world they're creating. So whatever the art style is, they're trying to make it all feel like we're there. I was just putting I, that's up. That's uh... insane. I was just pulling up uh, footage I just played before. It was from uh, Unreal Engine 5 using AI. Mm. Yeah. Just some examples. 
Yeah. No, oh, we're yeah. we're gonna see some really freaky shit, but I I'm worried that you know how we're all on our own cell phones and we're all on our own screens and we all send uh you know clips of things that we saw on our own screen to someone we love to their own screen mm. like, you know, and then every once in a while we sit together with somebody and watch something on a bigger <laughs> screen like mm -hmm. what is that going to mean for games when when ai is that we're going to live in yeah, the world it's making no thanks <laughs> yeah, i know right i don't yeah, i, I mean, don't want to live in blasphemous yeah, dude i love yeah, the game dude. blasphemous i don't want to live in that world dude <laughs> that's dark and it's you can make it evil. Can make it <laughs> I don't want to be there. So yeah, uh, imagine AI generated VR experiences. Okay. Oh, it's coming um, up. No, you can't stop you. it. Unfortunately, yeah, we'll put chalk in the uh, the horror shit. No, you in the, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. No, the uh, Evil yeah. Within two. What's up, man? <laughs> Smash <laughs> Two. What's up, man? I think we look at development differently, also, like in a retro type of way. It's mm -hmm. it's a lot different mm -hmm. now. So when you see something like, oh, they had three Grand Theft Autos on PS2 versus yeah. Grand Theft Auto 5 and we're like oh they only made that game no it's been alive and developed for the past 10 years so they have been yeah. developing for that game it's not the same game that they released when it came out on PS3 yep. but yep. it's the same title they keep releasing but it, it, as far <laughs> yeah. as development is involved they have been working on that the entire time and working on 6 and that's a whole other story but <laughs> But yeah, that's a, it's not like, okay, they're going to work on this and then the sequel. Because people used to build off of sequels to build the next, well, build off the first game to build the sequel and then build off that one to build the sequel and then build off that one, which they could yeah. still be doing, but that's going to be DLC now. It's not going to be a total new game. But yeah. back in the day, we would say, oh, that Spider-Man, that Miles Morales, oh, that's a totally new game. Even though they did it, they did it like a totally new game. <laughs> but it's, yeah. you know, it would have been, it's more like DLC based off of Spider-Man 1. But it's different now. Yeah, it is that. So development isn't the same. It's not like oh, seven years of development for this title, when they, you know, when they could be working with their other title that they release, and it's the same type of deal. Mm -hmm. Retro advisory board made a good point when it comes to AI. I believe mm. he's. Uh, they said it's a recipe to further curtail creative risk. We've always had clones and formulaic stuff, but he's worried that uh, it'll be a wash with minor tweaks to to the best sellers. Mm. It depends I'm, on how I'm you not use worried. It. Yeah, I'm not so worried about the developers because, like, look what we're seeing. What what's pushing these schedules and these budgets is ambition. You know, yep. like they're tr they're looking at their peers and they're going, "Oh my God, look what they're doing! How do we get to that?" And that's one of the best things about the video game industry. It's like every time you look up, it's like, "Holy shit!" You know, and that's what we love about games. That's what draws us to the, this medium. What I'm worried about is empowering you know talentless hacks that just want to <laughs> yeah you know <laughs> spider-man three now yeah, right <laughs> scraping spider-man one and two and then oh, yeah. they get to play with their playstation controller like they're playing uh you know what insomniac needs a thousand people to make but yeah, they've used scammers. ai oh, yeah. as always yeah. there's yeah. always scammers yeah. they'll try and get a quick bug yeah but it, they won't even sell that though they'll just play it for themselves ah, you know right. and and that takes time away and it's time that's we're talking about here mm -hmm. it's time all of it right. the amount of time we wait the amount of time these games take and if people have ai as a plaything and then they create things that they play that's just time that they're that's gone well, you know it saves time for these developers also when they're making their stuff because right. you see what it does for like upscaling old games and mm -hmm. everything like that is is yeah certain things that it's yep. doing and as far as like, okay, I need this building to look like this building. We make this building shorter, make right. this building taller. Like, instead of three months to create that, right? It could be two days or two hours, and then we won't have to wait seven years for these games. If right. you know, in a perfect world, right? That could be. Could be well, there, none of the companies are saying it, mm. but it's coming. Like none yeah. of because it's so scary, right? Like people's yeah. people's jobs are being impacted. You know, in real terms today. And AI, I think, has to be an equation in all of this. I mean, it's it's not just games. It's AI's an equation right now across many, many businesses. And we're talking about, you know, baby AI right now. We're talking about infant mm -hmm. intelligence. Yeah. I and mean, when it comes down to it, you don't yeah. have to pay health insurance for AI. So people are yeah. going to get yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And you don't have to pay AI a pension. <laughs> yeah, I will do the crunch times. Exactly. AI <laughs> will need a lunch break time and not. <laughs> but people gotta, people gotta make money because right. mm. you know capitalism has to happen. You know, like yeah. 
if, 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 you know, what are they making these things for if nobody's got the job to be able to buy them, you know, yeah. and to try to fight to have the time to play them. So uh, I, I hope that business leaders are accounting for that and coming up with new industries or new, you know, ambitions to take human workforce in different ways. Um and I, fuck, I don't know. It's so, it's so like, we're, we're at like inches from Blade Runner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Closer to Terminator. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. Exactly. What are the Closer others? to Terminator. What are the exactly. others? Arnold. At least we're not close yeah. to the aliens. I know, shit, I know shit's going to be fucked up if we get an AI Vic Lucas on the podcast. We don't need that. No. We need the, no. we need the real thing. How do we know he's. How do, you, how do we know? Hey. How do we know? He doesn't age, time. quote unquote. Yo, shout out to Leslie Lambert with the oh, 49. Leslie Lambert. I'm a, oh, thank you so much, Leslie. Thank you so much. That. That's great. So much Congratulations, you guys. Appreciate you, you tuning you. in, Les. Yes, they just paid Thanks, for man. the rent for the uh, for the month. This is four thousand nine hundred and now. <laughs> Someone donated four thousand. I'm sorry. No, it's forty nine ninety nine. But thank you very much, Leslie. Um. What was I gonna say? Oh, so like like you said before, like um, it seems like indies are thriving. AAA people yep. are worried about because they're saying it's gonna be another video game crash, and they don't know what they're talking about because there's so many games and there's so much money to be made in gaming. That's not gonna happen the same way it did back in the day. But I understand what they're saying by these AAA or first party companies buying up all these big companies. And what you are seeing is a lot of the people who are running those companies are leaving the bigger companies and they will become the new double A title makers because they well, have there are new years. studios forming and we're starting to hear that South by Southwest is happening right now and GDC is next week. Yeah, which always happens. There's always transition in the business and what comes out of, you know, we haven't seen layoffs at this scale, I think, in a long time or ever. Uh, but when we see these huge pivot points, invariably that leads to people going hey we could try this i think the appetite for this entertainment is only going to grow i think it's going to be imp important for companies to find ways to reach people that are not in the spectrum right now they're just not playing you know or they're playing the wrong games they need to be told that by yeah. the way these people that are playing shit games out there they're wasting their life playing match three on their phones or whatever. They need to be talked to. They need to be like taken down from the ledge and say, no, look, like question your life. You have time on your hands, play things that are more fun and, and rewarding. And um, we're not talking to them. We're letting, we're, we're, you know what we're doing? We're roping those people in and it's like some big win that they spend, you know, five bucks a month to buy some jelly beans and whatever they're playing and they loop that money into uh, the total nut that video games make. And it's like, th come on, that's so reductive about the future of the industry and what video games can mean. And it's uh, on honestly an insult to the best work that's out there. Mm -hmm. And I think the business needs to do more to let people in on the best work that's out there. They yeah, need to appeal to people that are, you know, watching every episode of I don't know, you know, but they they could be playing some excellent games. There's a dev, there's a demographic of people who only look for AAA titles, and if those aren't yeah. out, or if it comes out and people ridicule them or say they're not as good, then that's the entire gaming industry for them. Yeah, and that's a good point. Aware. They're not aware that's of anything. Point. The indies, man, that's there's so many gems. There's so complain. many constantly yeah. underestimated. I always play it's indies. A Always play. It, play it's a discoverability games. thing though right like every level you know like people joke about apple tv plus and they've got some great shows on there but uh, you know a lot of people don't even know that they're there and and the joke is it's you know where celebrities go to be ignored you know or like they go to disappear because <laughs> and you know if whatever you, you pop in apple tv plus is like this guy made a show here, you know, and you start watching the, and that happens over and over again. And I think game like that's it at like the, you know, high end of 200 million plus productions and they're disappearing and that's happening with games at every level too. And we are saturated, man. We are saturated with entertainment yeah. and, you know, access to retro cuts into people's time as well. Um, you know, some more curation, more good work like what you guys are doing and, tr and pointing people to 
you know, being evangelists, I think anybody that's watching this as well, it's kind of your responsibility as a nerd for this stuff to yeah. work with your people and your community to, you know, get them playing good things, you know, and, and get them on it, you know? Oh, yeah. It's we, out there. Oh, yeah. It, it's out there and it's up to us as the purveyors of this information and this passion for this content to protect it and to not spend every minute on whatever social app you love complaining. <laughs> what a waste of time. They'll be the same people what a waste of time. They'll be the same people yeah. complaining that there's not enough new. There's no new things. There's no innovation. Then, right. And when, you watch, play. when you watch a direct that has nothing but new titles and you say, oh, there's nothing I care about. There's, I'm like, right. what are you talking there's about? There's no new it's, Smash yeah. Brothers character. Yeah, there's no, no, yeah. well, no, there's no yeah. sequels. Yeah. And then all they want to hear is, oh, too many remakes, too many sequels. And then they don't care about the new stuff. And then they want to hear about sequels. Well, no one's happy. No one's no. ever happy. They, no. they want we, what they want until they the get vocal. it. And they're still not happy. That's the vocal minority out there. Yeah. People who care about these games don't talk enough. Yeah. We don't well, you know what's way. happened is is playing. some of the biggest, <laughs> yes. some of the biggest, uh, you know, uh, media people out there have made a lot of money. You know, this is just games, this is everything, just being negative. Yep. And yeah, and th they're culture. they're they're magnets for, you know, people's attention. And then they watch this stuff and they think this is common discourse. Everyone hates and you know, and. Uh, and and so it just keeps spiraling and it's just gotten so stupid you know yeah. that's all i can think of it's like yeah. you guys need perspective you know look at this beautiful year that the games industry just gifted us and all of this incredible material and and yes it's disappointing that there have been layoffs and we need to hopefully see those developers you know find a path to new jobs and new games but there's still a lot to celebrate all the time. And this year kicked off with Tekken 8 and Prince of Persia and uh, Overlord. Hell else? Unicorn Overlord. Uh, Unicorn Overlord. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to play that. Sorry. Can't wait to play that. Even RZ, which is I just played it and reviewed it and had so, so much fun with that. It's such a weird, it's a, you know, Limited Run is like really trying some cool gutsy things yeah. apart from just being, you know, the champion for physical, like they're investing in games that are really weird. They made a Philips CDI game in 2024. Ah, yes, I saw that. Yes, yeah. Yes, yes. yeah. And it's, it's really strange, but it's really endearing and fun, you know, and I applaud that. I applaud that. I applaud that stuff. I think it's great. Yeah, it sucks that Rocksteady didn't make a Batman game. It sucks that they didn't yeah. find right. a way. Um, but you know, who knows what lessons they learned from Suicide Squad that that they find their way back to something incredible, you know? Um, hopefully, it doesn't take yeah. seven years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Vic, I got a hey, you guys know I'm 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 launching the uh, the classic stuff next week. Oh, yeah. did you guys see that? Hit oh, everybody yeah. with that. Yeah, announcement. yeah, right. yeah. Tell them. Uh, yeah, next week, March 23rd uh, at 9 a.m. Pacific time, we're going to premiere. And every Saturday, we're going to premiere classic episodes of The Electric Playground, starting with season one, episode one, which pre uh, premiered in September of 97. And every week, we'll have a little celebration about the show, and we'll chat about it. And you guys can tease my uh, sweater choice and my haircut and everything. And, and <laughs> looking forward and, to that. And, yeah, right. And, 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 oh, and, yeah. You know, we'll and, yeah, and, we'll, <laughs> and we're just going to go through every show every week. So new episodes every Saturday morning. Um, but they'll be up forever, so you don't have to tune in if you don't want to. But there will be a bit of a live component as they're streamed out. And then I'm thinking about some cool things that I can do uh, that are ancillary to that, which I think could be pretty fun. But I, I'm I'm looking forward to celebrating this work that we did because all of this stuff is being digitized by the University of Toronto Mississauga right now. We did an education partnership with them. Nice, so awesome. they've got the whole archive, all the tapes, all the discs, everything that we shot is with them and they have our physical media and they're turning that into digital content that they can share with their students and they're sending me the the raw source so i have that material i'm packaging it up we have our first partner sponsor is pnp games out of winnipeg in canada and they are a big retailer across the country they, they sell into the u.s and um, they've got a bunch of stores in Manitoba, but they also distribute to a bunch of different stores out there and they ship everywhere it's free shipping for you know, I think uh, games that are 65 bucks or more or stuff that's more than 65 bucks. And so um, they're a huge partner and they stepped up and uh, really grateful to them. And the cool thing is like 
it, it, you know, you're helping EP just by buying your games from them, which I love because I wanted a retro game partner. They sell classic stuff. They also sell brand new games as well. But there's such a great alignment with the history that they're preserving and offering to their customers and the content that we're going to be serving up here, too. So uh, super fired up. It's going to be fun. Very it's going cool. to be fun to yeah, awesome. celebrate yes. all this I stuff. Everybody saw, check that out. I saw the trailer. I was yeah. excited. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, I was surprised at the quality. It had the uh, footage at it. They up, they up yeah, that and that's that's not even the new stuff. I, I took that from some of the the old stuff that we had oh, really? digitized. It should look 4K-ish wow. when it's all put together. Um, I haven't done the export yet, but the the quality of what I've got uh, has, and I've got the first season loaded up on drives now, is really good. And uh, we're planning some some cool stuff with this. Um, I, you know, I make new content, so I don't want the classic <laughs> stuff to be my whole life. Uh, but, so I want to like celebrate it every week, but it, it's going to be really fun to dive into this simpler time and the simpler era. And, uh, yeah, I, I hope it, it sparks awesome. some, you know, positivity out there. I really do. I see uh, the chats fired up for it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask yeah. That's great. Oh, yeah. Talk about their childhood yep. and all that stuff. It's awesome, dude. That's, that's really, really great. Awesome. That's, that's totally awesome. That's what the industry needs, man. Love More to positive. have you guys on on the on the uh, streams if you're available on those Saturday mornings. Yes, I will accept <laughs> all teasing from you guys. It's I all will. good. Oh, oh hell yeah! So hold on, it's <laughs> is that going to be Eastern Standard Time, nine a.m. Pacific? No, it's it's noon Eastern. Okay, so noon it's Eastern. it's it, they're going to premiere live live at uh, at cool nine a.m. All right. Yeah, I think it's just a fun way to do it. And, you know, and it's kind of the time slot that we started in. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we can all grab our bowls of cereal and, and just watch it and <laughs> and trip out to brand new N64 games and stuff. <laughs> Available on yes. Nintendo's online. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's like, you know, they're, yeah. they're you know, uh, publishers are getting better. They're, they're not, remaking those. Yeah, it's a, some are remaking, <laughs> but you know, NSO is a good at to, for the backlog. So when you see a show like that, be like, okay, cool. You know, you see the N64 game, you can fire it up. Some of them you can fire. People up right need now. to know their damn history, man. When it comes to this, totally. Stuff. Vic, really, you can really put important. up the old review and then the new review right after it. Of the, of the <laughs> I'm remakes. thinking of, I'm thinking of doing it. I'm thinking of doing that. I, I, it, it's a, it again comes down to time, man. Like it's mm -hmm. just. It's like I got uh, I got uh, two huge action RPGs and you guys could guess what they are that I need to play, you know, and, uh, <laughs> you know, you constantly <laughs> aware. <of that>. <laughs> 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 Each going to be 200 uh -huh. hours or more. <laughs> Easily. Just in time for Elden Ring. DLC. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the whole year. Oh, that is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of how I felt at the end of uh, December last year. It's like, I cannot believe how much gaming I did this year. <laughs> I cannot believe how many of these things I had played and consumed and how many hours as I was fumbling and stumbling inside of a pitch black cave underground in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> and falling. It's like, oh, no stamina. Us. Oh, great. I get to climb that again in the dark. That's going to be so fun. You told us to do a uh, indie award show at the end of last year, and we got to the point, and I was like, we didn't play enough of the indies to single out uh, yes. winners. Yes. Yeah. So we didn't feel right. But we do have an indie showcase. But we do that now. Yes. Yeah, we do that on yeah. the podcast. We do an indie uh, spotlight. And in the game wicked. of the week, in yeah. the game of the week, yes. so we shine light on Wonderful. some of the games that we do get to play if they're worth playing. That is so cool. Yeah. It's yeah. the seal of approval. Yes, yes. the yes. level eight plus seven it. seal of approval. Yes. Yes. Burn it on. We gotta get a tattoo of that. What seal of quality? <laughs> seal of quality. <laughs> that's not a bad what? tattoo. We that's not bad. That, quality. That's we actually got quality. We, be, we got that, the level eight five seven logo tattoo. I'm not. I'm not I'm that's gonna be Vic's that. tattoo. Level eight five seven seal of approval. I'll take it. We'll pay that for sounds it. great. We'll pay right, for right it. here. Right <laughs> yes, here. yes. Oh, the forehead. <laughs> How much am oh, I getting yeah, paid? Or we'll just do it full, full scale, and then I'll, I'll try to sue uh, Grand Theft Auto Six. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, not Cirque? Oh, oh, not not Cirque. Cirque. Not Cirque. Yeah, everyone's not. having like nostalgia kicks right now. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. That's that's cool. That's awesome. I I love that when they watch me, they go, um, th "This why is this guy happy?" 
<laughs> why, why, why is he positive? Because I don't think they see a lot of that, man. And it breaks my heart. I think that there's just so much skepticism and cynicism and negativity and anger Thing around like, video games I'm you know sure there, like there is positivity it's just drowned out no. the hell the next, it's algorithms out. Yeah. on social media platforms today they are driven mm. by yeah. engagement and the thing that gets the most engagement and gets the most eyes is anger, like hate, hate, anger hate, hate, fear hate. negative it's negative yeah. emotions Dude, right? if we were a negative yeah. podcast our, our chat would be going so fast we wouldn't be able to read <laughs> any of <it> oh <laughs> i know yeah yeah <laughs> But we won't do yeah. that. Nah, it's just, it's like, Listen, y'all are free to chat. That's why I love so coming here because I I feel the the you know the the same adoration for this medium that I have from you guys, you know, and knowledge and uh, wisdom and insight. I love working with you guys and and doing this. I think nah, it's awesome. Well, it's partially Absolutely. thanks to you and, yeah. the, and the positivity. No, that's true. Bring. That no, we we yeah. watched you and you know it gave us uh, motivation, inspiration to come up with this podcast and do what we do. And it's just like you know talking with developers and gaming media personalities. Great. It's just like what's better than that for us? You know, it's like that's great. It's, it's what it is. Yes, you showed. Us well, you guys have come a people. long way too. Like your setup is enviable. It's great, and <laughs> ALG is like like master on the on the <laughs> putting the clips you know it's it's in, it's incredibly impressive to have this this real-time b-roll happening as we're talking about all this stuff it's great Evil it's genius. really great yeah. <laughs> quick question for you Vic. when you mentioned i remember earlier in the podcast uh you made a face when you said something about uh we quickly went over xbox's acquisition of blizzard and stuff how did you feel about xbox acquiring or just the uh, you know, the big three acquiring studios in general. What do you, how do you feel about that for gaming, or is there any any thoughts you have? Uh, I I mean, what they're acquiring, they're acquiring the talent and the studios for sure. But what they're acquiring are the intellectual property rights to these titles. Mm -hmm. And if we're moving towards these these vertical networks, these integrated um, streams of content. Mm -hmm. that's how you differentiate differentiate yourself and your and your the stuff that you are a purveyor of and microsoft's the most valuable company on earth right now and uh i think more than anything more than anything because i have the same concerns and fears that the wrong people are doing the wrong things or what you know but mm -hmm. more than anything i am emboldened by the idea that microsoft sees this much value in the medium of video games and i also yeah. do fully agree that there is a opportunity and a and a responsibility on the part of the video game industry to find ways to get this content out to more people and that seems to be the the bottom line message from microsoft and i respect that mightily um and i feel like the other companies have done really really well in sort of protector state mode all the way along and 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 sort of siloed in their own verticals mm -hmm. but i i think it's time to entertain opening it up i do yeah. you know I, I know that's difficult to imagine but i just think if spider-man game if the spider-man games were I, it would be hard to make them run on the switch but i think there is a <laughs> like the switch crossover too. between the the switch too but the crossover between nintendo fans and spider-man fans uh -huh. probably a pretty big circle you know yeah. probably one-to-one -one ratio uh -huh. and insomniac's games are like they're pinnacle they're so freaking fun you know yeah. and spider-man is arguably the most famous character on the planet and his movies are amazing and uh sony though yeah. that's, that's their logo <laughs> so, yeah but it's for three it's yeah, the three. same as S sony movies only putting sony uh, spider-man movies uh, in specific those. theaters we right if movies. they only put if, if they only made their spider-man films uh for amc and you couldn't watch them in any other theaters or the blu-ray of those movies only oh, yeah. worked on sony blu-ray discs and not on an xbox like it's the exact same kind of thinking yeah. and I, I i don't know almost five that's it Spider-Verse? Oh, you didn't like those movies. And Across the Spider-Verse were brilliant films. That's all. Yeah, they did great. Brilliant. brilliant. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I don't understand yeah. what the last Across, was. Across was the... Uh, <laughs> Across... It, it's been toss-up between Godzilla and, and Across the Spider-Verse for best movie last year. And so I think... I got to see the, minus... Uh, yeah, I got to see Godzilla minus, Godzilla. Godzilla oh, minus it's one. it's insane. Yeah, the, the Academy 
I mean, they're they're all good movies. Although I I saw all of the the movies that were up for Best Picture, but I don't. I'm a big fan of people achieving the impossible and to make a Godzilla movie that <laughs> resonates like it did, like a, the emotional truth of Godzilla minus one. Like, who would ever predict that? You know, that's an impossible thing that happened. Oppenheimer is impossible. Who else could have made that? And that's it. There, there, there never will be a need for another Oppenheimer movie. Barbie, who else could have made Barbie other than, <laughs> you know, Greta Gerwig and make it resonate like it did, you know? That was actually I good. love when the impossible happens. Yeah. yeah, agreed. But across, holy crap. That talk about impossible on screen. Oh, my yeah. Lord. Can we for Beautiful. the third one? So wait, you guys didn't I like know. Madam Web? Uh, what we're, we're trying to be positive here, man. Come on. <laughs> I, I just asked a question. You know I positively did not like Adam Webb. Right. Yeah, well, I'm sure. I did. I, I, with a huge smile on my face, I can recommend not seeing Madam Webb. Don't see it. Yeah, I saw, I saw review. That's about. I saw I it. You don't it. have to see it. Yeah, yeah. I, I did see it. And, um... Dude, the actress doesn't even want you to see it. <laughs> no. no. You said I will never do that. Again. That's terrible press, by the way. Yeah, that's, uh, you got screamed at for that. That's not good. <laughs> I'll never I, do that again. I mean, I I, oh, man. I can't say I blame her. Oh, <laughs> you know, I mean, Dude, what's gonna happen with the the, the hunting one? What's the, what's the dude? Craven, Craven, Craven and Hunter. That actually, movie looked yeah. decent. It, it yeah. did look like it was. They it might some cancel that. <laughs> oh no! They might it's, get rid of it completely. But it's not. done. Yeah, it's they do done. that. They do that now. Oh, tax, yeah, tax write offs. Tax write offs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's crazy. That whole Batgirl movie will never see the light of day. That's nuts. That's so nuts. I bet you it's Batman. great, too. I think the Acme movie is coming out. Though. You think the mm. Acme movie is coming out? I think they said it was going to come out, yeah. Mm. I thought they killed it. Yeah. They is that new news? Did they officially re kill it? Because they did say that. I I don't know. Don't it's know. so hard to keep up with bonehead decisions like that, but it may be gone. It's terrible. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, yeah, we. I mean, I think we hit everything in our topic. <laughs> I do have oh, oh, so. to grow so big that you can just kill hundred and fifty million dollar movies for a tax write off, huh? That's wild. Yeah, I <laughs> oh, to be that. so <laughs> successful that you go. No, nah, we don't want that. We're yeah. just gonna kill all yeah. that work. I would never understand. Wish yeah. it's crazy. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I think. Uh, like, wh why don't we just? Uh, why don't we just part with the parting message that people should just be happy with games because there's a lot to love. And if you don't have something brand new to play, play something in your archive. Play play something in your your back catalog. Yep. You know, yeah, catch up. Development There's so much to play. You have yeah. more time to play everything that's actually out now. Yeah. So stop waiting for that one title you've been waiting for, and just play everything yeah. else. There's so yeah. much. And the people that are making these things and making these decisions, they're human. And video games are new still. Like we're 50 years into it, maybe as a medium. It's like, hey, and it's new every time. You know, like every generation, every freaking new graphics card that comes out, it's like, oh, my God, they got to learn it again. Yeah. Just have some patience with people. Remember that that there are human beings trying to trying to entertain you. That's it. You know, yep. for now, That's they're it. human. They will be human also. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Remember those games? That's gonna be crazy. Oh man, That's hilarious. we're gonna be fighting AI for a game in real life. Oh, oh, <laughs> now you'll be using your. Out. You'll be oh, saying to uh, uh, you, you know whatever your AI is. <laughs> You know, hey AI, make me the blade game now, <laughs> and it'll just oh, you know just rip everything and just here you go, and you'll be playing that and go, oh, this is cool, and that's what I'm <laughs> out about. It's all right, it's not bad. Yeah, terrible. Yeah. Be, I wouldn't. I would like Cafe Fox said in the chat. Uh, I wouldn't mind AI, like an AI uh, announcer. In like a fighting game, like Street Fighter Six or, yeah. or oh, that can, yeah. Well, they've yeah. added AI to talking in uh, the the characters in role playing games, so they can like, oh, really? actually actually talk to you based on what you say to them. Really, which is yeah, like wow. you said, it's still baby steps right now. But that's crazy that they're even trying to. It's a lot of voice right. actors out of jobs. <laughs> That's gonna use I their mean, voice. The, <laughs> so, uh, that's the debate right now. Then I'm gonna miss so, my opportunity. Yeah, the uh, yeah. the amount of. Uh, Oh my God! The amount of jobs that are going to be impacted by all this. I, I always yeah. think about the extras in movies. I mm -hmm. was just watching Masters of the Air, and the first shot of the most recent episode 
It's on Apple TV Plus where the celebrities go to disappear. Um, <laughs> 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 the first okay. the first okay. shot in the movie or in this this episode, the camera's coming into a bar and uh, the guy looks right at the camera and he's right in the center frame and he looks right at the camera and then he turns and he has his background action thing. And I just think as a producer, you know, you don't want that problem. You don't want that focus pulling kind of thing. And and uh, I can just see some producers that don't really, you know, care so much about the human um, sort of elements in there. I know it's insane right now. I'm talking about, you know, an iteration of AI uh, years down the line, but they'll be able to just instantly create background artists like yep. that. Yeah. yeah. And Where there's going to be a lot of producers that will look at scenes like that as the perfect example. They'll say, I didn't want that guy looking at the camera. It's, it's in my movie. I don't want that, you know? Change it and, well, yeah, they can maybe use AI to change where he's looking or whatever. Just do another and take, you right. lazy bastard. <laughs> well, shit. Since it's, since it's Somebody gonna, missed it. Since it's gonna be all they're, they're just humans. They missed it. Yeah. They miss it. They miss it all the time, man. I, I like I've been it doesn't happen now because you can digitally remove a lot of stuff, but I saw lots of movies as a kid where the boom would enter the frame, man. And yeah. there are lots yeah. of there are <laughs> there are the lots of movies that are <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah lots of movies and tv shows when they reformat them or remaster them mm -hmm. the framing is different and so you'll come out and you'll see the foot the feet of the crew people and the shadows of the <laughs> yes, booms yes, and everything yes, yes. and it's it's crazy man but Wait with ai movie. boop gone right. it's gonna Wait be crazy to fix all those old movies where like say the matrix 2 mm -hmm. where you see all those fake people fighting them yeah they're gonna go back in there and be like yeah we're gonna change all these to real looking or like in yeah. Blade, and Blade, where you see them, and yeah. like, they look like rubber when they're fighting right there. They're gonna change yeah. that and yeah. make them look more real. Yeah. It's easy. It's gonna be. Easy. I don't know why they don't do that. The the movie that I think about all the time is Tron Legacy, and and how Jeff Bridges looked pretty good, mm. but very video gamey, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like PS3 ish, mm -hmm. you know. And it would be yeah. great for them to go back and make that super photo real. That movie's amazing, Didn't but it stands yeah. out that we have that moment. Didn't they do that with Luke Skywalker when he first came out? Or did somebody do it? I think someone did it in their home to make him look yeah. better, better than yeah. the one that was in the show. And I was like, you did yeah. that at home? <laughs> and the studio yeah. couldn't figure that out? Uh, wow. well, hey, you guys know, yeah. you know that in Across the Spider-Verse, that whole Lego thing, yeah. that sequence, 14-year-old yeah. kid out of Toronto, I think, just Jeez. did it and mm -hmm. put it into his movie and put it into the movie. Wow. Incredible, right? to see it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What a talented. Incredible. Talent right there. Very yeah. talented. Seriously. Well, that was fun, you guys. Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah, Thank man. you for Thanks having for me. Coming through. Thank you, man. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Yeah. That was great. You. Thanks for joining all of us, everybody out there in cyberspace land. Yeah. <laughs> Level right. 857. Yes. That's right. I had a question, but I'm going to hold it back for the next podcast that we have you on because it's actually a question that could be a topic. So I'm going to hold it back. Oh, good. Okay. okay. Hold it back. That sounds so wise. Let's do it. Yeah, and, okay. and next time I'm coming to New York, I'm staying an extra day, and I'm coming to you guys, and we'll do it live. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. 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 Do it live. Yeah. We I'd love to Trump. do that. So then you guys can't say he's an AI. Don't make me miss my flight. That's all I ask. <laughs> couch right Thank you, guys. Crash? Yeah, Hell yeah. Thank you so much, Vic. Thank you, Vic. Have a Thank good one, Thank you dude. so much. Appreciate Have a great that. night, you guys. Take care. You too. Take, Take care. care. Bye -bye. And the show still goes on, you guys. That's right. Hell yes. We have we still more got some to talk yeah. about. Yo, I love how Bizarre always brings up Sticks getting mad at Sifu. I love it. Don't yeah. worry about that. <laughs> he does it <laughs> every podcast, and I love it because it's one of my favorite clips on the channel. It's overrated. <laughs> it's so fucking overrated. amazing. Overrated. It is. Oh, man. Actually, we're going to go and uh, take a quick bathroom break. Uh, we'll be back, though. Look at, look at Kev. Stay tuned. Right look at Kevin. Oh. He's stuck. That's why he's not moving. He's stuck. No, I'm I don't gonna, know I, I got to move my chair. He's I can even back. I got to move my right. chair. What you can't even hear you, dude. You no can't even hear what you're saying, dude. Can't hear you. Get you're your not talking into the, the mic. Chair, I your... can't move until you go to the break. You got to get to see you. Dude, dude just I'm go all right. Go. Just all right, y'all. We'll, we'll, right we'll be on break. We'll be right back. Go. Just go. Jesus. Stay tuned, y'all. There we go. That was such a waste of I mean, it's still on camera. You know, they can still see you. You know, they can still see you. They can still see you. They can see you. There's a small TV there. Oh, my God. Guys, don't forget to enter the monthly game giveaway. Um. Yeah. 
Why would you what just tell me? I can't, dude. Sorry, <laughs> what is he doing? Yes, everybody. I meant to move my chair up. I'm sorry, sorry about that, Chuck. Yes, problem. everybody. You guys need to head over right now. <laughs> it's underway. The Level 8 5 step Monthly Game Giveaway for this month of its March, right? This month of March. And if you go over there, it's 857ENT.com slash giveaway. And by popular demand, people keep asking, like, yo, what games you got for the giveaway? What games? We put the boxes for the games right there on the page. So when you can sign in, you can see the games we currently have available. And the games do change. When we get new games on there, we're going to let you guys know. Also put them up on that page as well so you can see that what we uh, game codes we currently have available. So get on them. 857ENT.com slash giveaway. I'm going to put the link in the chat. Put the link in the chat, y'all. You won't get it going. <laughs> we going. Why, you why you got growling? We got to get it going. A pimp named Smokeback is in the chat. Smokeback Smoke in the building. Back. Pimp named Smokeback. <laughs> thanks, thanks. Man. Thank you, thank you. No, no. It's always a, a hell of a time uh, having Vic on the show, man. Talking That's, to a legend right there. Yeah. He's just such a big inspiration for the podcast, and it's... Uh, you know, it's way overdue that we haven't met him in person and hung out with him. So and he's that, such that, a nice dude. Yeah, very he's nice. Great dude. He's like a nice person. And so you preach that negativity, then he's gonna bite you. Yeah, <laughs> like, Vic, Vic's coming for your head. Right then Vic gets spicy. He's you know like what I'm saying, he's like, fuck ya, motherfuckers. <laughs> 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 yeah, that, if he starts saying shit like that, like you motherfuckers out there, man, negative and shit, piss me the fuck. I, I would fucking die. I swear to God. Seriously. Word but no, it is it is overwhelming, and it, it is in every medium possible that people just focus on the negative because it just pops out everywhere you look all over social media, and it's fucking it's it's, it's not often enough. It's yeah. to the point where people who want to focus on the good have to focus on the bad just to get y'all to listen to the good. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. It's, it's, it's bad. There's a right way to critique something. Yeah. When I was in art school, I remember the, the, the professor had us go in front of our uh, project, and we had to go through everybody's stuff everybody's work and tell them tell them what you liked about it to their face <laughs> to the whole class and what they didn't, and what like. They didn't like about it and mm. everybody had to do that to your feet and you have to do that to everyone else oh so man. it just creates you know it, just, it helps you number one it helps you get you know better mm -hmm. but it's not like it's not meant to be like offensive or anything but because yeah, you're right there go, yeah. right like <laughs> i fucking hate when this you, when, when you're an artist you sensitive about your shit yeah no it i've had people say i didn't ask for you to tell me about it right <laughs> it, it, but it's no, but it was part of the assignment i was like for every i remember every time you you had a work a piece, like whatever it is you had to critique everyone's stuff but you had to give like a positive what you liked about it and what you think could be improved. But it teaches something constructive so good, criticism. Constructive not, criticism. And not tear down criticism. Yes, exactly. Was ever something so good you were like, nah, I just, I just can't. It looks too good. There's nothing. I can't. I, th there was always, there's always <laughs> something that could be improved. But, but, you know, I hated it, though. <laughs> I, I hated it. It's nerve-wracking. Well, nobody wants to it. hear anyone talk about your work. Yeah, no, because it's like you work so hard on it. So like, Unless you know. Sometimes you know you messed up. It's like, man, I, that's a little, the yeah. perspective is off. I know. With, some, with <laughs> certain things, you can agree, you know. But that's that constructive eye, criticism. That eye is messed up. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if they say something else, they're like, man, fuck you. I know the right. eye, but what, what are you talking about? The hand. Right. <laughs> the hand was good. Right, right. The hand is perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's five fingers on that hand. There's no AI there. What did yeah. the five fingers? Say to the face. <laughs> Slap. Catch it, bitch. Are we are we oh, are we back up. from break now? Hold up. <laughs> Just yes, about we, we gotta take that last sip. We're back. We're back. Gotta get that last sip. No, we're back. Uh <laughs> so yeah. what good. do you want to talk about? So we're gonna do uh, <laughs> you wanna go over the uh indie game of uh, the week? Yeah. Let's do let's, that. All right, let's do it, man. Let's do it. Game of the week. Let's go. Uh, hold on a second here. We're talking the indie game of the week. Oh, yeah. yeah. What game is going to get the official Level 857 seal of quality? Yes. Let them know. Let them know. And hit that with game the, is going to be. The... Oh, oh, oh. Drum roll, please. Conan Chop Chop. Chop Chop. Conan Hell Chop. Yeah. Pop Pop. <laughs> Wow. No, not pop pop. <laughs> Conan pop pop. Conan chop. Conan pop pop. Conan no, no. Pop, pop. Conan chop chop. Conan chop chop. Conan yes. chop chop. Though. <laughs> this is a roguelite, mm -hmm. uh, four-player dungeon crawler. That's yes. Right. And I did not know this would be this fun. 
Actually, because it, it looks stupid because you have your stupid you skinny little, legs. Oh, little yeah. legs, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a unique art style. Yeah. They look like stick figures with, with clothes on. Four-player <laughs> co-op, man. This was I, a wait, it's co-op. online co-op? I didn't know it was online. Yeah. 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 Oh, we shoot. always play the couch co-op, that's why. Yeah. Because, yeah. yeah. you know, we have friends. <laughs> 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 Some people have friends like far seeing away, each other though. in real life. Yeah, yeah. friends far away. Uh, <laughs> oh, what boss is that? Fuck that boss. Nah, chill. <laughs> <laughs> we got pretty far in the game. We got to, I think, the third boss ha- almost halfway through the boss fight. It was yeah. surprisingly fun for a roguelite because mm-hmm. I was never a real big fan. Same here. But I played a lot of games that are roguelikes that I actually enjoy playing, so I can't say that I dislike that type of style of game anymore. Right. Yeah. Especially when they're like this because it, it makes it seem like you have a chance for mm-hmm. a long time. <laughs> and, you yeah. keep, and you keep certain abilities and stuff. So yeah, I, it's which not like good. you start from scratch. Yeah, I, yeah. I always say that each run you have to like – for me to really enjoy it, I have to feel like I'm Some proceeding. I'm yeah. like, can I beat the, the first boss I just lost to? Can I beat this bastard, or am <laughs> I just going to keep dying to him? Right. And the fact that we you know, lost to the first boss a few times and then the second boss a few times, but we got past them, mm. I said, oh, and more things are being unlocked. You can actually heal more than once. You actually have a special technique, and maybe this time you'll get this sword. That, you want. It's, that's, that makes you want to keep playing the game. So they yes. did it the right way. You feel like you're stronger. Yes. At, at something. Yes. That's I get all it. I ask. <laughs> I get an Ember Knights vibe from there. It there is. There's similar big similarities mm. uh, between that and this. Definitely does. Yeah. There's a lot of titles in that mold, mm-hmm. but a lot of them aren't as good. <laughs> so you like to showcase this one. Yep. What yeah. other characters are there besides Conan? Or is everyone Conan? There's no, no. Chop and Chop. <laughs> no, no. Different. <laughs> they, they don't have names. They just look different. Yeah. There's a chick. There's a dude with a like a uh, who's Conan? A knight, knight helmet. The top it's left. It's the name dude. of the game. I know, but who's yeah. Conan? Who, who gives a fuck, dude? Just I, fucking I look just at <laughs> look at them. Do they, any of them uh, look like that, Conan? That's me. The guy in the top left. Yeah. 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 So that like answers, that's Conan. me. Yeah. That answers the question. He looks I mostly like uh, Schwarzenegger. He did the Conan movies, right? Wow. Yes, he did. Okay, he did the Conan movies. I think that's like what kind of comment is that? That's the point of the joke. I get it. You like that, right? Yeah. You wanted to get to Arnold Schwarzenegger something. I did. Yeah. 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 You should have said, then which one are you, are Arnold? Yeah, see, that had been better if you actually tried to <laughs> sell that. Which one is Arnold? No, that should have gotten to the chopper. No. Oh, boy. All right, that's, that's the end of that. After the fact, now. Uh, that's the end of that. Oh, boy. <laughs> yep, yep, we just ruined that. It was oh, shit all over that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, it's a fun game. Especially yes. uh, playing four-player co-op. If yeah. you get four people together, it's definitely more fun. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And I definitely recommend playing it that way. How will you guys try again to beat it? I would, but um, the the save file's gone. Oh, well, we'd have to start from scratch, which yeah. is basically what a roguelite is like anyway. So yeah, it's not that far off from where we were. <laughs> I just don't, don't want to grind again, though, man. I Damn know. it! Yeah, that's the if thing about roguelite. If I could be man. right there, right where we were, right. But I think if I'll we do would, it. I'd play it as soon as possible. It's also right. remembering what we did. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a long time. It's gonna be like we never played. We it. came. We saw. We whooped its ass. <laughs> and then we, we forgot. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. then yeah. that information's gone now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a few titles that are like that. But there are a couple. Them. You'll you'll yeah. see them in the in the uh, as a choice for the week. It's coming up. Believe me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah. Conan Chop Top gets the official level eight five seven seal of quality. That's right. Hell yeah. yes. Yeah, whisper it. Quality. 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 You ever have have quality? (laughs) That's an awful awful logo. A quality. That sounds terrible. (laughs) It's actually kind of amazing. A koala bear. Quality. Like a koala bear. I know. You didn't have to to say the whole joke. Whatever, man. We understood it. (laughs) Quality. Yeah, man. All right, moving on to that. Wow. (laughs) said you look like a koala bear. (laughs) I know. Damn, man. You said Australia. Al, is it time yet? (laughs) Uh. I think it's time. It is time. Ladies and gentlemen, in the chat, <laughs> listen to this right now. Yeah. Audio and listeners. Yeah. World. It is time for <laughs> the news. I think that was like our best one, but Kev was trying so hard to ruin it. Oh, he was trying. trying. You heard yeah, he was. He, said, he, said, to ruin. he was trying to ruin it. This is what he said. Yeah. I, I like I like the harmony that we had, except for that. Yeah. yeah. Terrible. Really, it was really what going, was, it was that? Really going good. Don't uh, that double asking. Dragon 2 stage 4? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> random game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Insert no- random game. You get knocked out and punch out, and you're trying to get back up. It goes. Come on, you know what? 
dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, that really goes oh together. My God. <laughs> anyway. Yo, hit the button on him, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was the worst. <laughs> throw a bottle That was the worst. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck the button. We got to throw a bottle at him. <laughs> <laughs> Hope the Gamer in the chat. Gamer. Uh, Hope. Hope. Oh, Hope. <laughs> oh guys, uh, it's Hope. Uh, um, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm trying to laugh like Jay-Z. Uh, uh, no, uh, no. You don't have to explain uh, it. No, because no, it, it wasn't. No. Okay. All right, man. Here's the news. Please, <laughs> pull up, please, please pull up the news before he keeps talking. Oh, oh boy. man. There's two articles. Yes. That, Perfect. That are on the same thing. So. No, to start. To start. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> four, four. Uh, well, five t- articles in total. Damn. But two of them are essentially sim- very similar. So. Yeah. Yes, it was Mario Day. So. Yes. yes. And this is an announcement for Mario Day. It's a goal. Which is March 10th, if you didn't know. Not how we spell it, but that's what they do. <laughs> so, Lego Mario Kart sets. Le- damn it, Lego Mario Kart sets <laughs> announces. These sound like sets another record. <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> no, Lego Mario Kart sets announced for 2025 in celebration of Mario Day 2024. <laughs> All right. So my my thoughts on that and the other article. Well, I, okay. Mario Day 2024. Everything announced, including a new Super Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> So we're gonna talk. A about sequel. We'll talk about a bunch of Mar- um, Marvel Mario. stuff. No Mario, Ma- stuff. Mario, <laughs> Marvel, Mario stuff. Mar- Mar- no Marvel stuff. stuff. Wait, yeah, that no Mario, Mario movie made enough money for a sequel? Mm. Very much so. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't hit. I don't the know target, if it hit though. the target, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it hit it. <laughs> you know what? You know what though? They're releasing it back in the theater, so it's a hell of a chance that it's actually gonna hit the target that I made for. That was a long oh, time ago. It doesn't count. Yeah, but count. that it's was not, that wasn't the same year. I didn't need to be there. Doesn't need to be there. But it can hit that. All right, so Mario Kart, Lego Mario Kart. Okay, so uh, <laughs> all right, are you okay? Explain this to me. Go ahead. I will. Everybody has been waiting for Mario Kart. It's been longer than it's been longer than it's been like ten years. How long has it been since Mario Kart Eight? I don't know. Because it's oh, been dude. seven. It's been seven <laughs> since it's been on the Switch. I gotta say, probably ten. So on the Wii U, maybe ten. It's got to be around like ten years. It has to be. It has to be around there. So, now that you're done with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, with all the DLC, all the tracks, all the characters, and we're like, oh, cool. Now we're waiting on a new one for the new system. Within about a year, let's see if they're going to come out with one as like a really, maybe a release title for the new Nintendo system at some point. It has to be on their mind, right? You know it's coming. So, the fact that they say a Lego Mario Kart is coming <laughs> in 2025, around the same time you think they'd have a Mario Kart 9. Nah. <laughs> or or um, whatever it's called. I, right. I know they've already had Mario Kart Tour and Mario Kart Arcade and whatever you want to call them. Mario right. Kart 9, I think, is the, the one on the phone. Who knows? But whatever this Mario Kart's going to be, the sequel to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, you'd think they'd be working on that. And if Lego was out, that means we're going to probably have to wait longer for it, which, I mean, I guess maybe this is going to be the next The one. move makes 100% sense. 100%. Mm-hmm. I think it's a great move because mm. it's so hard to do a sequel to 8. That is... It has everything except yeah. for the dual, the double dash. That's the only thing it does. It has everything in that game. Live Over a hundred something tracks in that game. Well, so we said it would have to be That's like, like Smash Brothers. So yeah, no, yeah. It's like, characters. do you go that route? Like, there's so many different questions to ask. Of how are you gonna do a nine mm. to distract people from that? Throw out a nice little merge. Like, think of the stages and Legos and stuff like that. <laughs> Hitting cars and seeing Lego pieces pop up. I think that's a dope ass idea, in my opinion. It is a decent I idea. Think it's, I think like, it, if they're going to treat that as the next Mario Kart, they well, might. Well, <laughs> Mar- well, Mario Kart is, you know, that the name is on it. It's not going to be Mario Kart 9. While they think of 9, they might as well, <laughs> they, they might as well prep that shit for the new system. I'm not going to say Switch 2. I hate saying Switch 2. No, the next Nintendo. Switch thick. The next Nintendo. Yeah, I think that's, yeah. A, that's, that's a perfect move. Um, you're still trying to get that record with the Switch. <laughs> well, would this come out that. for? Would this come out for the the Switch, the regular Switch? You think it'll come out for the Switch? That's no, the question. That's it's gonna have to be the no, Switch. No, Switch. no, I think it might be the regular Switch with the amount of it has the install systems. base. Yeah, the amount yeah, of systems that it's in. I think the Lego one is gonna be for it at least sense. both. It's systems. not like the graphics is gonna be too crazy. Dude. No, it's no, fucking no, Lego. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> that oh, might be why they're doing it. Maybe, maybe. Because <laughs> right. I already saw what sixty 
was it sixty million or more? It's probably more know, now. Dude. This would put them. This would probably put them over to get that that record that they want. Well, they're not planning to stop selling the Switch. Yeah, so. they're still planning to put out games to make this thing sell. And if they ever drop the price, it's over. And the thing they is, haven't yet to yeah, do that. And yeah. they did do like the 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 Mario Lego toys, right? Like I thought they would yeah. bring out these ago. as cars, Lego. Yeah, to, like, so like, like a toy. I, to be honest, when I heard the announcement, I was like, "That's kind of dope." I'm, I actually was like, "That, that counts I, as a Mario title I, too." It does. The one with the VR. The, that's a, that's the an stupid. actual title for the Switch. Oh yeah, <laughs> people yeah. love that thing. Oh, well. It sold a million. I Race think, around your living thing. room. Yeah, it's like it the, counts as a Mario Kart title. Though. I'm about it. I that's think it's weird, cool. Man. I think Part Nine's just gonna be. I think you got to really take your time with that. I think it would only. It would have to be a Smash Brothers type Mario Kart with every every Nintendo license, every Nintendo. Oh, World. Smash Kart like that. It would have to be. It has to be. <laughs> or Lego live service. <laughs> or Lego. I was way off. It's or Lego. <laughs> yeah. Or, yeah. No, it's definitely going to be live, live service. Live service, too. dude. Mario Kart Eight Deluxe was live service, basically. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it just ended after seven years. Right. So uh, new tracks, yeah. <laughs> and they're just going to add. They're going to bring so this out man. again and add new tracks. <laughs> yeah. so no, they're, they're gonna do I want to see <laughs> the type of tracks they have in a Lego world. I want to Rainbow see Rainbow Road. Guaranteed, as Legos, guaranteed. as Legos. <laughs> I don't know if the Lego, tracks will be all Lego. Hell yeah, I know the it's cars Lego. will be. I know the cars will be. You think it'll be like Mario Maker, where you can make your own track? I don't want to. Ooh. They tried if they that, could pull it off. That, they, would, that would be interesting. They said they attempted that before in it's the a past, mess, and it's com- more complicated. It's more complicated in execution than it is on paper. Damn. Yeah, I know. You know but they so did it with F Zero too, didn't they? They have a track maker somewhere. Maybe I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah. I think in one of they them. just have to figure out how to, how to do it. Who knows? But um, the rest of the stuff they announced that day was uh, let me find it. <laughs> so, <laughs> it says, <laughs> "Let me find it." <laughs> All right. It says, "Additional Mario sets, including the Bowser Express Train, King Boo's Haunted Mansion, and Battle with Roy at Peach's Castle, were also unveiled." Um, Nintendo announces new Super Mario Brothers movie, Paper Mario remake, and uh, Luigi's Mansion Two HD. Oh, they have the release dates for those finally. I think. Um, I don't have it. It was oh, actually the, no, yeah. it's down. It's yeah, it's down here. It says uh, Luigi's Mansions Two HD is uh, June twenty seventh. 2024, hmm. and it says the Paper Mario remake is on May 23rd, 2024. Wow. And they said the movie is going to be released April 3rd. There we got a date. April 3rd, 2026. So I'm working on it. Obviously, it takes a while to do that. But yeah. you know, that they not have that the far idea. off, though. Not, not really. Not for, really. For I mean, since they're going to have Legend of Zelda coming in between that, you know. Live you know, action. Who knows? Ugh. Who knows when that's coming? They got to chill with that. Yeah, I wish it was animated. <laughs> Maybe they'll change their mind. Or maybe it'll just be AI humans. It'll be animated. Oh God! God. <laughs> who, knows, who knows? Even better. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah. So they they got the release dates for that. A lot of people were complaining about the prices because some of the prices slipped at the uh, Luigi's Mansion, mm-hmm. and I believe Paper Mario remake are going to be sixty bucks. And they yeah. said that yeah. because Metroid was like forty bucks, and that was considered game of the year type material, yeah, that these the games are very expensive to be remakes. I yeah. don't know how much they're going to add differently to it, but that seems a bit Nothing. expensive Nothing. based on that what they've been sound. doing. Based on what they were doing. Nintendo's like, give me your fucking money. They're like, they're going to sell <laughs> millions upon millions upon millions at $60. So why? Yeah. Why not? This is what you do, though. Just get the NSO uh, voucher. You Ain't know, nobody doing 99 that. bucks. I'm sure these games are going to be on. You'll save yourself 20 bucks. Ain't nobody doing that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Except you. But yeah, thanks for telling. Him. Kept sure. made that it, shit sound like a deal at a buffet or something, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Don't save your twenty dollars. You go to Wendy's. All you can eat. You go to Wendy's. You get your little ticket book. <laughs> yeah. You get a free frosty every time you get a meal. That's exactly what it sounds like. Ask for a cup of water. Like. That's exactly what it sounds like. Like what it's was only that? a dollar for yeah, the yeah. packet. <laughs> Ask for that. a cup of water, and then you can get the soda <laughs> that you want. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it from home, and they can refill it. Just don't throw out the cup. What are you talking about? <laughs> get free slurpees. Running there with your own cup. <laughs> Save 20 bucks. <laughs> they can't stop you. Yo. <laughs> Use your oh points. Use your Nintendo oh points. Oh exactly. Use Nintendo points. It's still $60. The voucher, man. <laughs> oh it's, it's not 60 when you use the voucher. You got lucky once. We're no, like, do it again. <laughs> if these games are on, I didn't pay once, full price. You're gonna say <laughs> twenty bucks. They're forty nine ninety nine. Hopefully, they still have the deal. Nintendo got your money. Look it up. They will. Hopefully, they still have the deal. All right, moving on to the next thing. Hello, what's sick? Jeez. All right. I'm, I'm, I hope y'all oh, save money. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, this is not one. Okay. Multiverses announces May twenty twenty four. Release May twenty eighth. Twenty eighth. 
Warner Brothers <laughs> finally has a release date. We'll get to the actual date on here. All right. So, yes, Multiverses announced oh, the man. comeback that we've all been waiting for. Yes. Yes, that's a very highly sought after title here. We play it every week. When it comes back, there will be a show once again. That's Multiverses. Right. Versus. But um, Multiverse, the free-to-play platform fighter from Warner Brothers, has announced a release date of May 28, 2024. Which is right around the corner. That's you know, close. close. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very close. Yes. Two months. I had a feeling they would announce a, um, a release date. Because they they've been quiet. Yeah. yeah. A lot really of people, quiet. A lot of people and that's cool. To think and that's yeah. cool. When they're quiet, I like it. Well, a lot of people I wanted like to think that they just killed the game and weren't coming back and blah, blah, blah. Oh, but, negative fuckheads. Fuck them. But. It's good marketing. <laughs> they already said that <laughs> that was a beta and nobody wanted to listen that it was a beta and they chose to spend money on it. And they're like, oh, they took my money. Listen, it was a beta and they said they're coming back. And. This is what they were doing. And you still have all your stuff that Everything you Everything that you unlock, you mm -hmm. still have. You just had to wait a year for the game to get better. Oh. And Ooh. what a lot of people didn't understand was that oh, it man. got too popular for its own good. Yeah. And they didn't have enough staff to build upon what they needed to do mm -hmm. at the time. So they said, let's take this back. Let's fix everything we need to do. Let's add all the characters we need to add. Let's do all that due process so when it comes out, we have it be smooth instead of having people waiting months and months and months. They did the smart thing. And doing it, Tony walked into Warner Brothers like, cut the check. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yo, I wish he would come on the podcast and say that. <laughs> I would lose my shit. Me too. <laughs> Shout out to Tony. Me too. Walked in there and said, "Yo, cut the check, <laughs> bro. You see what it is? <laughs> you see what's going on with this? At least we got that. Give us because the money, bro. <laughs> what Warner Brothers has done with everything else they're doing is not great. So I'm glad that they said this was a success and they're gonna." Build on. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm I'm really happy that that this game is taking off, and when it mm. comes back, it's gonna blow up again. Yeah, bro. Well, considering it was, go ahead. no, I was gonna I was gonna say it might end up back at Evo, but they already announced the games for Evo. Mm. But well, um, I mean, I don't know if it'll like erupt as big as it did when it first came out, but who knows? Right. They might have to get people back into it and let people know that they're back. I'm I sure think, they'll have a presence I there. People are oh, no, I mean, people are waiting. It was popular before. It's even better now, so right. it should be up where it was. Yeah. But according to, do you guys, Harris says, do you think they planned it from the start? Well, since it was a beta since the beginning, yeah, yeah I think there was a it was an idea mm -hmm. based on how popular it would be. Right. And it was one of the biggest titles at, at release. It's fucking one mm -hmm. fighting game the, of the year. I think it was the most players online for a fighting game. Mm. Yeah. And the biggest release of yeah. all time. I yeah. believe I'd like to think that there was planned from the beginning that they were going to take it over. Yeah, they have to have a roadmap. Yeah. They don't but even if it wasn't, it. it's a good plan. <laughs> it's yeah. a good plan. Yeah. I saw some things on, t I mean, obviously in the um, the two minute and 30 second trailer, you know, mm. Tony's talking about things that are coming back or things that they're doing, you know, the Unreal Engine 5, well, uh, the rollback and all that stuff. Yeah, the games we built from the ground up would improve online play, visuals, and a new player versus enemy mode. Yes. Which is, I'm, I'm so happy about that. And the, um, <laughs> and the, there was a guy on Twitter who must have got hired during this process. I forgot mm. his name. Shame on me. But, um, he was saying that he was very involved in making the online work. How well, it's said supposed it's to work. Yeah, yeah. Good. So he was uh, heavy, like he was heavily involved in that. So they hired the right people for the things that it needed, and it sounds awesome. Um, you know, the fact that they're like, this is the date that it's coming out. Oh, they're ready. And, you know, you got your little leaks of, uh, you know, backgrounds. You know, your Powerpuff Girl background, and you had the mm -hmm. Dexter Lab background. So, mm. you know. There's they, hints. Yeah, they, give, they hints. leave Easter eggs all the time, and it's exciting because I enjoy the game. It plays amazing uh, when we did play it. And so uh, now it's going to be like they improve the graphics. Yeah. They didn't really need to. No, they didn't have to. <laughs> I, th I thought it was Unreal 5. I like it's the graphics. Unreal Engine 5 now. So yeah. now the lighting is going to be even yeah. better. Yeah. Right. I think they made the characters a bit bigger. Yeah, they made, made them bigger. Like yeah. They, all right. yeah they a little bit bigger. It's funny because, you know, when it comes to negativity, in video games, you know, mm. any positive announcement will always have that. I don't know. That was a good idea if you make it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut, the, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> All I say is stop. try it. See what they did. Play it right. and then see what's and going on. If you don't like exactly. it, you like the old one better, yeah. then right. you like the old one better. Yeah. Because I was excited about the cast, but you know me and platforms. I'm, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of platforms. But you played enough of Smash Brothers. Yeah, but and that's the thing. But like, I, you know me. I like my traditional fighters. I don't want to get thrown off the stage. I want to fight. <laughs> I want to fight to the death. <laughs> but nah, like that that game drew me in. Very well done. Very well mm -hmm. executed. And I'm excited to see what comes in May. Same here, Dude, man. If, if somebody's in there, I'll be. I might be interested. What in playing for? Who? 
if Dexter's if Dexter's from Dexter's I was Lab, saying the same thing. Wait, you're actually <laughs> you would be excited for Dexter? Oh yeah, he's, a, he's you really? I had no idea. I, I know. I know Al loves a. I love that. I love that. When you told me that, when I when I saw that that announcement, I was like, oh shit! I was actually excited. Tony, this is how you know you got something. <laughs> you see, Sticks yeah. played his game. <laughs> and the Powerpuff. No, girls? Powerpuff and Dexter what? were amazing shows. They were amazing. Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't mind trying them. Out. Samurai Jack probably. Oh, oh they, no, no, yeah. we can't get Samurai. They Jack. took a, also someone you know because fans always overanalyze everything. But if mm. you, there's like one of the screenshots has like in the far background it's like a tower and it looks like the Eye of Sauron. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. So, nice. oh. So they're, so they're interesting. Well, they got people pixel peeping. Interesting. Look at if that. there's Lord of the Rings, and at Mortal all. Kombat, yo. yeah. Wait, wasn't the Eye of Sauron one of the icons? I don't think yo. so. But if it no, is, I was uh, at, yeah, I was looking at something. All right, yeah. But if that's that. if that's involved, <laughs> in in if mm. there's like you know, because there was a Gandalf made for the game, but there was like issues, like licensing issues and shit early on. If that actually happens, you know, Legolas, Aragorn, oh god. I need Gandalf versus Ganondorf. <laughs> no, it's impossible. It's not, it's not. As somebody who's not a Smash player at all, I'm not a big fan of it. Mm-hmm. This really, really, I like. I enjoy it a lot, man. Yeah. Oh no, I Al, Al's face lit up all the time when you it. killed somebody. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. It's just the laughter that would happen from just murdering someone is dude, just. Dude, I yeah. love yeah. the no, battering knockout. A co-op They're fighter, amazing. dude. That, like <laughs> co-op fighting should be that should be a thing. It should. When I game got the casuals thing. to enjoy it, which is a hit. hard task. Even hit. even uh, the platform fighter hater, fucking Joel from Media Glitch, he, he popped in the stream and he was having fun. He was playing. Right. And then I actually playing it. Yeah, he is actually doing pretty well. Then I had to kill him, but I mean, he did. Wow. Enjoy <laughs> just <laughs> casually, <laughs> just, just casually clowning. Wow, <laughs> but yes, we said WB had their own problems doing other things like mm. delisting adults from games. Yes, uh, we know, yeah. but yeah. the fact that this isn't part of that, I'm happy about that at least. It's great. So, but yeah. I don't know what they're doing with licensing, so we'll have to see. But it's exciting, it's, it's, this game has got me excited. And I like the looks of things. And hopefully we can get Tony Wynn to come back on the show and talk some multiverses. With yeah, that would be yeah. great. Yeah, man. If he can give us like an exclusive so we can be like famous and blow up and stuff. So I don't need to <laughs> Listen, he always shouts us out. Know. He always replies. He's a dope dude. No, yeah, he's dope. He's he's he does, dude. man. Cool Much people. love. He's a great guy. Always shows love. Always shows love. All right. On to the news. Oh, yeah. Street Fighter Six next playable character, Akuma, revealed in new trailer. Oh, interesting. That looks like Beast Man. Oh, Akuma looks <laughs> more <laughs> like no, a just, lion. Yeah. Yeah, he just has a thing, lot yeah. more hair and his hair is white. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be the cheesiest character in the fucking game. Oh, yeah. He was uh, cheesy. Possible. Like it's <laughs> Chuck, <laughs> Chuck story wise, why is his hair white? He's old. He's either old or he's fully embraced the demon. I don't know, man. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I the thought because he rejected, make something up. he rejected the demon, the Oni or whatever like that. Who gives, well, who gives a shit? That made his hair white. Who cares? Okay. Right. Yeah, he could just be really shit. old. He could have just made up the answer. His older brother <laughs> wasn't Goken, his brother, and his brother's hair was white because he was old. True. That's so, true. Yeah. But his was red for so long. He's he also, he just uses it just for men to make it white. He enjoys it. Okay. All right. That's, what, I, that's what I'm going with. Interesting. Okay. So, I'm not mad at that. <laughs> he's the last one of season <laughs> one. And people were anticipating his release in spring. It was announced that he was coming out in spring. Yes. Um, people are waiting for that because that means you're going to kick off the next year with season, season two. two. <laughs> and we're waiting because the leak before the game even came out had these characters in there already. Yeah, so we yeah. knew that they were all in there. So no big surprises or anything like that. I don't think there'll be huge surprises in season two either. They usually wait until like season bison. four. Five. Bison's dead. We're getting knows? bison. Yeah. He's coming back. <laughs> Who knows? In the truck. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Remember that shit? Yeah. Yeah, That's hilarious. And the great. best Street Fighter movie ever. <laughs> the animated one. In the truck. I remember that. Bullshit. It was a dumb ending, though. Sorry to spoil it if you didn't terrible. see it. But, um, but <laughs> yes, he looks interesting. I'm not a big Akuma fan in the game because he's a big cheater. <laughs> he is. Well, nah. He's but not I think they che- changed him enough. But his offense They was... said he's weak. Like, but as far as getting hit, he's weak. Yeah, exactly. But he's he super had... powerful. His oh, offense so is high, but... He can't take a hit. Yeah. So if you, if you can get to him, he's he Sephiroth pretty much in uh, um, Smash Bros. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He gets hit like a bitch. Yeah, but he can, <laughs> but he can kill you in three hits. Yeah, in Tekken Seven, he was like impossible. To oh, no, he's a cheap ass. Oh, it's like get out of here. You're in the wrong game. <laughs> he's basically SNK boss in that. And then you go online and it's all Akumas. I'm like, yep, oh come yep, on, yep. man. <laughs> well, you're gonna see the same thing <laughs> yeah. in well, Street Fighter yeah. when he comes when he comes out in spring. You're gonna see that. But he's a thick. Why do you make him so huge? He's so like a tree trunk. 
Because he never skipped leg day, bro. Word, man. Dude, remember, he's I always in the he gym. He on the bench, yeah. son. He putting up at least 345. <laughs> Dude, he almost looks like he did in the, in the Street Fighter Alpha anime, and he was awful in that. I hated how big they made those characters. Their leg and arm is stupid. Yo, he's but, squatting at least 405, son. Yeah. But they did everything in their power to make him not look like Ryu and Ken. Exactly. <laughs> they did a great they job. Really exactly. did. They, he looks they, like Ken. And, and, and they that succeeded. Was the thing. Yeah. That was the thing. They, did, they, they don't want him to look. Ganondorf. They don't want them to be interchangeable with just a little change to hair in their in their geek colors. A lion yeah. version of Ganondorf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lion. Well, no, he looked more like a lion last in Street Fighter Five, and he, that pissed me off. I didn't like his look in that. He looks better in this one, so I might give it a shot. I'm definitely try it. All right. But um, I gotta say, Street Fighter Six made all of their characters very different. very fun. Different. I still haven't <laughs> tried out JP, but Screw I don't need character. to. Oh no, I did try him out in the arcade mode. But trash. um he's trash. Kill his ass. Jesus. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that, yeah. We'll go over it during But you uh, use Ed though. Play. You like uh, Ed though. Ed is fun. I saw on your playthrough. He was he's pretty dope. fun, dude. He's so fun. He's not the typical character I would use because he's he's tricky. He's not his his fighting is not straightforward. Does he's anybody does anybody use the um chick with the weird fingers and shit? The creepy Thank chick you. who slithers yeah, I everybody. Used, uh, yeah, I used her um when she when she dropped. And mm. she she's fun too. Why am I intrigued to use her if I play? <laughs> I don't know why. It's just like <laughs> yeah, she's that's that's weird. The she's got poison strikes, man. Yeah, She'll right. hit you and you can take damage after she hits you. It's yeah. Nah, she's very But very she's cool, cool looking. But a successful season one. It's a good a good way to end it. I would say mm-hmm. so. And I'm looking forward to season two after that comes out. Me too. Yeah, man. And everybody wants Sean back. I don't, yeah. I'm never a big fan of Sean. I thought Sean was cool. Bring him back Yo, and but give everybody him, like, wants him that him treatment. Back. Bizarre Bring wants him back. I've heard a lot of people online say they want Give him that of, treatment. No, he. Yeah, could. I mean, yeah, I, I can see it if they change him up. No, I usually say it's easier to be Puff and it's tougher to be Sean. Um, All right, okay, so, so on. on the next <laughs> article of news. <laughs> Come on, man. That was like exceptionally that bad. That was so forced. That was so that was bad. So forced. Wow. All right, moving on to the next oh, one. Oh, dear God. There's more. Yes, there's one more. Oh. So the Spider-Man, the great web trailer leaked online, which is a game that is canceled. So a leaked trailer showcasing the canceled Spider-Man, the great web, a five-person multiplayer game set in New York City. I am kind of disappointed, but then I wasn't once I realized what it actually was. Live service, right? It was considered their live service game. But oh, were you actually using <laughs> Spider-Man yes. characters, or were you? Yes, they were all Spider-Man. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was like oh, Spider-Verse just from different. It was Spider-Verse, okay. Spider-Man. Gotcha. So it looked. I saw the trailer. I was like, because first I read it, and I was like, ah, I'm glad it's gone. I'm glad it because it's live service Spider-Man. I don't need that. I want my one player or maybe two player Spider-Man story action game. Um, the reason why I could say that probably this was not going to be released is because it would have taken away too much on the development of the one player or. The, the franchise Spider-Man game that they're working on because like it was a live service it sucks the soul out of whatever is doing it and if it's not yeah. successful I mean listen a live service Spider-Man would probably be kind of successful mm-hmm. but I don't know how like <laughs> I saw five and I was like dude all of us can be playing Spider-Man together That's that sick. would be amazing that for would that be for that alone I don't care about the rest of the live service stuff but that would have been pretty cool in yeah. that game to be swinging around. Oh, hell yeah. Fighting everybody with a five-player Spider-Man. And the trailer looked like it was done. I'm like, what? How is this canceled? Why did you make this trailer? Because it looked done. And who knows? They might rip this off the internet. <laughs> so hopefully we don't show too much of it. But, um, oh, shit. Yeah, right. who knows? <laughs> yeah, who knows? <laughs> Blocked. But if you want to check it out, just look up the, uh, the Spider-Man, the Great Web. There's two trailers out. I know the first one got ripped off. I'll put it's it probably in. still out there. I'll put it in the chat. Yo, yeah. Bizarre, that's still not funny, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's still not funny. You want time out, son. You want time out, guy. That's like the joke that keeps on giving. Seriously. But they said But I would have played because I like Spider Man. Oh, we know you got They said they battled against the Sinister Six. They said they were gonna battle against the Sinister Six and stuff like that. Yeah. That's perfect. And it it really did look like it was done. And like yeah. I said, we can't really show the a whole damn trailer on here because it'll kill the show. I'm gonna go. Watch. <laughs> I, I just put it in the chat, so I'm sure we'll get a notice. But <laughs> you, might, you might as well show the one now. Might Sinister, as well. Sinister Stick was in the first Spider Man. What Sinister Stick? Sinister Stick. Sticks? Sinister Sticks. No, Cinnamon Sinister Stick. <laughs> Cinnamon Sticks. Cinnamon Sticks. <laughs> Cinnamon, Cinnamon Sticks. sticks is sick. <laughs> the biggest enemy of Spider Man is Cinnamon Sticks. Sticks is right next to you, bro. <laughs> that is hilarious. That's not. That's the. I didn't know he was a diabetic. I had <laughs> no idea. Terrible. It's a terrible. Image. What? <laughs> so. No, it's all right. <laughs> oh my god. But yes, I was very disappointed that they didn't just make a five player online DLC for the for Spider Man two. Just give us that. 
Maybe that's what they're going to do. They might do that. Maybe they canceled this so they could just bring it as DLC. Or maybe it is DLC and people got it all wrong. That's the rumor. It's supposed no. to come out with co-op DLC in some form or whatever. Why I, not? I like You don't have that. to be live service. Just let's fight bosses together. Let's do a boss rush mode or some just throw in some stupid enemies for us to fight. Just make it simple. Yeah. They it did that be. for Bayonetta too. Why not? That's all though, man. I wish. It's just, it's just sad to see it. Sad to see it be canceled, but like I said, live service we don't want. Hopefully, something better comes out. Maybe, yeah, maybe they're working. We, always, on we just wanted two. Yeah, they gave us yeah. five. Like what's five, going on? Yeah. <laughs> We've been dying for. Now we're asking for five players now. Before it was four players, Damn, but man. since since we're uh, five people, it's yeah. like for everything, we're like uh, make it five players. Can you do? That? I would have been just seeing them jump off the building together. It was like oh yeah. Man, that you know dope. what? They, then they would have been like, why didn't they make this across the Spider Verse? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They always want more. Damn. Yeah, I, I don't blame them. <laughs> but we, we're not gonna see it apparently. Oh well, not well. Yo, that's wild. But maybe they'll add multiplayer to three. Who knows? That trailer Who was knows? sick. There's still <laughs> hope. There is. There's that still is hope. hope. There's always hope. That trailer was fire. Might as well as away. <laughs> yeah, check nah. it out in the chat. If you're not watching live, sorry you missed out. But hey, just look it up. Maybe it's still online. Yeah, man. yeah. Some yeah. wild there. Yeah. All right. All right. And what does that leave us with? That's gonna leave us with uh, <laughs> actually the games we play. Heck yeah, yeah, man. We're going to go into what we've been playing this week to yeah. end off the show, y'all. That's right, man. So, um, yeah. so we're going to we're gonna start off with Chalk, man. Fighter Fridays, man. Yeah. Street Fighter Six is still so damn fun. I second that. Um, uh, Yeah, this was a Ed versus Ed Mirror match. Like, I, I didn't win a lot of fights tonight. I mean, that night. But this game is still so fun to play. It is. And I got to say. One of the most memorable parts of the night was that me and Turbo had a sick set. Yeah, it was you, you were Chun Li, and I was um and I was Luke. I was switching. Yeah, I switched characters. I think it was uh I was I was Ken, Guile, and Chun Li that night. I oh no, yeah, I had a good fight. Yeah, yeah we a bunch no, of th that. This is one of the fights. There, I felt like I fought a war. Like not Sork was in there <laughs> yeah. too. I fought a war. Like yeah, Chalk set was. I was like, yo, I was like, this is like. It was so fun, though. On the other side, I was just like, God damn. It like, was every fight was so like, Jesus. It Dude, made me want to jump so in. Fun. It what? made me want to jump in, but right when I was going to, he was like, oh, I was going to end the night on the last fight. I was like, ah, was yeah, it, it's kind of late. Was <laughs> it close to that match that we were watching in the, the hotel room in Columbia <laughs> when it was Luke versus... <laughs> that was a showdown. I remember yeah, that. We yeah, were, we, were, we were drinking. We were like, yeah. come we're on, all cheering on and <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> it was like we were watching a live UFC yeah. affair. It's <laughs> hilarious. It's always it was, Chun Lee. It's always Chun Lee. It was, always su yo, it was such a good fight. And I think, you know what's, and you know what's really fun? The fact that I'm... Now that I'm not doing that that uh that thing that end of the year contest or whatever, where you guys have to take points from me that <laughs> I'm you. Oh, oh, the rip off. The rip off. It's not a rip off. Yeah, yeah you yeah, had yeah. to. The scam. The, I had to work. <laughs> I had to work for every fight. <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> it's not a scam. It's not a scam. <laughs> Y'all just need to play the game and get good. Continue. And then fight me. It wasn't a continue. prediction though. It wasn't a prediction. But anyway, continue. whatever. Continue. Anyways, <laughs> but nah, it's cool now. I don't have to use my main. I didn't even use Ken that night. No, you. Didn't. No, you didn't. I didn't use Ken that, and I, I can. I was just getting mad because you didn't hit anyone out the air. I was getting so mad. What are you talking about? <laughs> you have no, you don't have any defense against people who jump at you ever. And I'm like, just let him play. Because I wasn't using Ken. Yo, Jay has the most complaints, <laughs> and he don't even play the game. No, exactly. Yeah, right. <laughs> you should have stepped in. <laughs> no, that's Bad what I know. Whenever I see you fight, I'm always like, you don't hit them out the air. No, Backseat no. gamer. <laughs> <laughs> I can give a. I'm saying, improve. I'm saying, you well, get better well, if you well, do that. Well, the thing is, uh, well, the thing is. I, I didn't I didn't practice that with uh with Ed. No, no, you were Luke and he's got an uppercut. I'm like, damn it. I know, but his uppercut is funny. Mm. Cause you if get you get out of it all the time? If you don't time it right, you'll go under them and end up on the other side. Okay. okay. So Yeah, it's got like a wider arc than the dragon yeah, punch. It's, it's a little weird. Mm. Yeah, but like, like if it was Ken punch. If it was Ken, I'd psh, uppercut all day. But, but I was like, dude, that guy could get murdered. He keeps jumping at you. I know, please. I know. I, I and the thing is, I don't, I don't practice those anti airs mm -hmm. with the with the characters that I've been using. So that's something I can work on. I appreciate the constructive criticism. There you go. That's all. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, man, we had now exploited. We had <laughs> wars. <laughs> no, that was their come wars. on, son. Their wars. Come on. Yeah, we had we had we had fun fights. It man. definitely made me want to jump in and play though. I know, Watch Joe. Them. Dude, we were having fun, mm -hmm. bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> just such good fights. Yep. Yeah, I got to hook it up on Steam and stuff. It's like, all right, I need to do all that. <laughs> Come on, man. Get with it. <laughs> but yes, I do. And Al, I do you jumping in. in next, bro? I got to play it. 
Yeah. <laughs> I, I got to play it. <laughs> I got to play it. I bought it, I, and it's... Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, I've been, you bought I, I just, yeah. yeah, we both got to uh, play. I, I, yeah. I actually, <laughs> like, get actually used have to, to it again. Pl- like start the game. Like, I have Stallion, to actually play. you got to play too, bro. I need a copy. The Stallion, you know, <laughs> yeah. It's a certain um, thing that's taking up my time. <laughs> what else you play? Um, I played Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Oh, I'm on chapter need to, six. Damn it. No I still spoilers. need to jump back in. No oh, spoilers. Well, I, I was gonna. Oh, yeah, you know we can't play. Yeah. <laughs> I was Yo. actually gonna go into the uh, co-op games, but uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, because I had these in order. So All right, go for it. Go for it. My bad. My bad. No, so no, we we, good, we played. Good. Um, yeah, that was for Fighter Fridays. But after that, we played Origami Two. We continued that. And um, yeah, oh, how many? I think we did. Go. I think we did like um, three stages. I think I think three least, stages. At least completed oh, three. Shit, get the fuck out. Get off here. Yeah, there's fifty. <laughs> 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 wow, <laughs> dude. There's fifty-one missions in the whole game, and we completed like. I think 15? we just I think we just got, got like eleven, 11 maybe. 12, yeah, I know. <laughs> Wait, is it like <laughs> complete the game one hundred percent or like is that just no just no the, the, end. the yeah, stages stages wow. Yeah. This game is exceptionally large. It's like, exceptionally yeah. large. Why I mean, it's, a, it's a hell of a go. It's a hell of a way to go out. So yeah, like the last game that company made. Pretty Considering much. that, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. last game. That, I enjoy it every single time we play it. I oh mean, yeah, it's it's the 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 formula of being a ninja and planning, you know, certain tactics and using skills and whatever you buy from the store to get to the to the goal. It never gets boring. It's Thanks. just. It's hilarious. And doing it in co-op. And then, like, if I'm on another side and I get to see you guys try to kill, you know, do something, and then yep. all of a sudden I see someone fall off a roof, it's hysterical. Yeah. <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh, yeah. Or when I see you no, kill somebody, you see the so blood, like, splatter over Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like raining blood. Oh, there he <laughs> goes. There he goes. He's like, right oh. above me. It's awesome. Nah, it's it's so much fun, man. So and much it, fun. This playthrough, we changed our colors. I was, like, gold. Al was blue. and Kevin Yeah, red. yeah. Make it easier to see yeah. each other. Yeah. Oh, he died. Dude, by he that just fell off. <laughs> 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 Looked like he did magic to die. Yeah. I remember this mission too. <laughs> he got hit with a star. This uh, this yeah. area, I remember this part. There was I don't know if it was this play. Was this the glitch? I think this is what. Yeah, I think this is the part where you glitched out. I couldn't see it because I was on the other end. I tried to pick up the body, but I was falling off that platform <laughs> at the same time, and I was stuck in limbo. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just oh, like this. Man. Oh, but man. they killed me, and then I started at the beginning of the stage, right. and we actually beat the stage. That playthrough, which is hysterical. Yeah. Because I thought <laughs> yeah, it jeopardized yeah. the entire thing, but we ended up being the stage. It almost nice. did. Yeah. Well, that, that <laughs> we had to do that mission over again. Oh, man. When uh, oh, yeah, Turbo, yeah. Turbo mm-hmm. died before we completed. Me and uh, Style completed the mission. Turbo died, so he didn't complete the mission. I was at the beginning. No, he got no. He oh no, no, he, no I'm he, sorry. They sent him to the beginning of the stage, yes. which is fine. He was waiting for us, right? But then his, his connection, his connection, his, his connection got, that's right. just uh, died. That's right. His and, connection and, and it took him out of the stage. That's right. the worst. So it didn't count yeah. that he completed the yeah. stage. So we couldn't progress through the whole game. And we were until, running for our oh, lives. That yeah, sucks. we were running yes. for our lives to get yes. back to him too. The internet is the boss of the game, and we yeah. got yeah. lost. Remember, we got lost in that. Yep. While they're all coming after us, I'm like, help! That was so much fun, man. I, I, I. Look and forward to every time we play. Man. No, the powers are cool. Like the new powers yeah. that you unlock and stuff like that, and you can upgrade them. They're really cool, <laughs> and they, uh, you know, they make uh, that, assassinations. That a lot shadow uh, thing I unlocked. Oh, the shadow. Beast? I, that was yeah, funny. and I got the second version of it, but we, I didn't get to use it because we got the. Oh, you do it at a distance. I, yeah, I, shadow beast. I, I didn't even get to. Yo, use he it. got he got this fucking thing where he's like he's using it for the first time. This dude's <laughs> just chilling. <laughs> fucking black fucking dragon pops up, just eats the guy, <laughs> takes him under. I was like, wow, into like an avoid. Super super. I did not see that shit coming. I bought a skill where it's like you assassinate somebody and you automatically assassinate someone who's close. I haven't used it yet. Ooh, oh, I think I, I, just, I might have that. I, I think just I might have purchased that. it. So I was like, oh, That's nice. it's automatic? I and it's that. a passive skill? Okay, great. Well, you nice. you guys awesome. will be playing that for the rest of the year. <laughs> probably no, probably right. Said. Yeah, no, you're right. Dude. Likely. <laughs> likely. <laughs> yes. All right. Um, after that, uh, let's see here. Oh, you guys got to try out the demo for uh, Anima Flux. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was good. Yeah, man. That was Animal really cool. Flux. So I had no it. idea about what it. What does it play like? <laughs> it's like a it's a it's a Metroidvania co-op game, mm-hmm. but it doesn't feel like your average Metroidvania. It's a sci-fi based yeah. Metroidvania. So Strider. It's an Stridervania. There's some it's an adventure the attack street uh, I played the demo just to test out uh, the setup before you guys went uh, to stream. And I played a little bit of it of the demo and um I saw the like the control screen at first was like weird because it was like you have to use the right bumper. Yeah, it didn't bother me. I didn't. Bo- I thought it would really? bother me. It did yeah. not bother me. No, no. You get. I got used to it. Yeah. I was a little weirded out in the beginning, but then I was like, oh, I got used to it. Yeah. Well, I had. I played as a chick, and she had 
the the arrows. Yeah. It reminded me a lot of how uh, Record of Lotus wore. Mm hmm. That uh, the newest yeah. one, yeah, because she had an arrow like yeah, that. yeah, so yeah. 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 It was similar, pretty much the same way. Mm-hmm. And I wish she had an up close weapon just in case too. But like a little that's knife, a thing, something, yeah, right? something. You that's never, you might be able to buy some. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe because yeah, it's maybe. just the demo, so we don't know everything in the game. Obviously, yeah, and all right. the moves. I do wish there was a dash. Who knows? There might or be a roll, roll, right? or dodge Could something because be. we would get ripped apart if yeah. they get close. Like, oh, no, I can't move. So hopefully that's something that's in there. I mean, it's like I said, it's like a Metroid type game. So maybe. Those moves will be added in there or, you know, as down the line. Yeah. But from what we played, I like that it wasn't, like, easy. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, it definitely wasn't. Yeah, they don't, they don't hold your hand. <laughs> no, no, it's not easy. I died right away. <laughs> There's <laughs> some strategic areas where you yeah. can do really good if you yeah. position yourself you in the right You remember we area. were – I had to change everything in the, what I was doing. I was like, and you oh, can't no, be rushing I'm getting eaten up. Having everybody come out at the same time, you got to move slowly. It was even slower. tougher single player because – you ha- you can actually control both characters. You can switch. Oh, shit. So you have to switch. So characters. based on what you're doing, you gotta use. And the other yeah. one can get attacked while. Ah, while no, <laughs> oh, that's too tough. You gotta play a multiplayer. Play it's, it cr- it's tough, man. I was but like, the artwork the? was cool. I love the art. The artwork, the yeah. soundtrack was cool. The, the music, the music was the good. The music was good. I, I wanted to hear music. more because I'm like, yeah. I, I know it build, I know it has to build up. I know that type of music because it was like a mood type thing. Yeah, man. But I like. What we played, um, we didn't really get lost. We kind of did and jumped off the level <laughs> and died. <laughs> and then it brought us back to where we needed to be. So I was like, oh, kudos for that. Perfect. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kudos so, for that. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> we we planned go. that. <laughs> we just dove off there. Yeah. <laughs> but we slowly got used to how to play because mm-hmm. we got to a boss. My controller died as we got to the boss. So that kind of sucked. And we, we, weren't, we, weren't play, we weren't playing the boss right. And we didn't know how yeah. to fight him. <laughs> but we got used to it and we did get better every time we got up to him. And, and the revive mechanic is cool. Just hold and on. And you X. can bring them back. Yeah, a little bit of energy. Oh, what up, Joe? Media Glitch. Joe, Media Glitch. Media Joe, Media Glitch. Joe, in the chat. What is up? Gave you a shout out <laughs> earlier, uh, Joel. I don't know yeah. if you heard it. <laughs> <laughs> Joel said long development times aren't killing the industry. Crappy games are. <laughs> <laughs> I could agree with that. <laughs> that's Shitty always that's are. always a problem. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. always a that's always an issue. Get, make better games, man. But yeah, I do. I by the end of this. And we beat the we beat the boss battle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We don't. We wouldn't ever be able to beat. No, him. I said no. He's fucking dying. <laughs> but we actually figured out some. <laughs> I stuff. just finished Elder Souls, man. We're beating the boss. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Damn. Like, but it, he the demo. He definitely makes you realize how to play the game before you in the demo. Yeah. It's not like oh, you can just waltz through. It's easy. Yeah. But um, it makes me want to play the actual game. So yeah. I'm waiting for definitely that, and I definitely it. want to mess with the real the full game. And you will see the developer on this podcast in April. Ah, yes. So you hear more about. Right. Joel said, was it a shot or a burn? I think both. Yeah, you know, you know it's always a <laughs> yeah, shot a and shot a burn. burn and at the same so time. Yeah, two at a time. Ah. It's all love. <laughs> it's all love. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. But it's all love, Joel. It's all love. <laughs> you have to go back and watch. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, we That's appreciate what, you, man. Of course. Yeah, man. It's all love. All right. Who's, uh, who's kicking off what they play? Uh, I guess. Hold on. Tell them out. I'll go em. quick. I'll go. Tell them. Tell them out. I'll go quick. <laughs> tell <Yeah>. them. <laughs> I'm still playing uh, Blasphemous Two. Yeah. Um, and slowly enjoying it. Like just taking my time with the game. No rush. Um, I'm a little bit more than halfway through. Nice. And um, uh, dude, I'm I'm loving this man. You know, I'm the, I especially love going. <laughs> that guy's playing terrible. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. What, what the yeah fuck I, I don't know. I just pull up. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they always play terrible on these clips. I don't know uh, why. They're the YouTube off. channel is uh, Gamer's Little Playground. Game- shout out, shout out to you, but <laughs> just playing terrible. But, but yeah, he's learning, he's learning. Oh, okay. it's a tough game, man. It's a tough game. <laughs> Doing what he got to do. He won't stop blocking. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. But um, no, I like I like going through the map because you know it's like a Metroidvania. So I'm, I like going back into the maps into the areas that I haven't done. And you know you get a new ability, so you're like, oh wait, what about this part of the map where you can unlock and love oh, it? Oh, oh dude, yeah, it's it's so much fun, dude. It's a masterpiece, dude. It's a masterpiece. It, right. it is a awesome. masterpiece. And then also, uh, obviously we had him on the podcast last week, and it dropped yesterday. Oh, that's um, right. oh yeah. shout yeah. out to Tom Hewlett. Shout out. Uh, way forward. I got it on the uh, the Steam Deck. It's awesome. I love this game. It's awesome. Yeah, I actually did. plays a little bit better than the demo. That I played on, uh, but I had the, yeah, not on the Switch, on the, the Steam, on Steam Deck. I had oh, uh, play, plays better than the demo on the Steam. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because I played the demo, it was good. 
But it was like more polished on the Al, can uh, you block uh, um, Joel? <laughs> you can't yeah. block him. He's saying some blasphemous things. About blasphemy. <laughs> yeah. About blasphemy. Yeah. I think it was oh, I yeah. think it was the game was too hard for him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Damn. probably. Yeah. It's too hard. Yeah, yeah I, I played a little bit of the demo for Contra. Mm. It's fun. I, no, like I can't wait for the four, four player, player though. Four player? We're gonna do oh, that this Sunday. Wait. This Sunday, man. This Sunday wait. we're gonna do? Yep. Can't wait. Six PM. But that's pretty much all I played, y'all. <laughs> Excellent. Kev, I think you're up. I'm up. Okay. Um actually uh Chalk is up. Chalk, okay. Chalk, you got this. Um I started the new game plus for Spider Man two. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's it's there's a new game plus for that, huh? They yeah, got an update. The like, update what, is out. Week, right? um, I forgot this, this game is so And much there's fun. a couple of <laughs> they got new suits. A uh, couple of new suits, a um, couple of new skins for the uh, symbiote. What does new pl- uh, new game plus add? Is um, just you just playing through with your stuff? Yeah, you have you have the full assortment of weapons and everything, uh, all your gadgets, all your um, health. Health. Did you hundred percent it? Yeah. You platinum? Yeah. Nice. Of course. Nice. Come on now. Chalk is drenched in platinum. <laughs> I'm, I'm spider drenched in platinum. But um, <laughs> but yeah, it's it's like. Just the opening of the game I just played through, I'm like, God damn. So cinematic, so fun. Mm. Like, right off the rip. You're just like, oh, this, this game is the shit. <laughs> nah, know? I ain't reason to play Spider-Man 2 again. It was awesome. Yeah, man. It's, yeah. I would, I, I recommend playing it with the new game plus. It's, it's. I'm going to fly through it way faster, but it's it's so dope. Cool suits. I got to find so, time so to dope. play this game. Yeah. This game is awesome, dude. I got to find yeah. time to play it. Yeah. Same here. Same here. I can't believe I didn't play it. It's on. It's, look, it's on my uh, backlog. It's it's coming up on that Sony backlog. And then uh, I played uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Yes, another I'm one. On, I'm on this chapter the trailer. six. <laughs> <laughs> this game is so good. It's um. Yo, is Zach alive? I don't know, man. Dude, what dude, the what hell, man? Why, dude? <laughs> okay. I'm putting up know. the trailer to not know. have any spoilers. Like, why are you? Why are you even asking? I have that? to ask. No, I have um, to ask why so we could tell you all yes, the moves, dude. Like. The combination moves that you can do in this game, mm-hmm. dope. And you build, you build like relationships with your, with your parties. With, mm-hmm. I mean, with the individuals in your Does party. Does it make it stronger? Yeah. Oh wow. You, like you deepen the relationship, and it, op- I think it unlocks more like stuff. But it's so fun. It's and like Midnight Suns. It's just damn man. It's it's so well done, heavily detailed. It's bruh. Yeah, I'm still like chapter three, so I, I didn't play this week. I gotta yeah, play, yeah, I gotta yeah. Play. Um, so I'm not looking at anything. <laughs> yeah, dude, just, just, just. Oh, play look it. at that though. And right I'm, un- I'm and I'm oh, unlocking more and more materia. It's, bruh. There's so much material. Yeah. <laughs> Even yeah, in the very beginning, I'm like, and, I got like so much material, and not enough slots in your weapons oh, and, no. and your armor to oh. put it in. But yeah, dude. All right. Enjoying that game thoroughly. Yes, I, I, I want to put like I, I, <laughs> I didn't want to play it. I give it a little time, and then when I had the whole day, I'm like, I didn't play it. I should have played it today, <laughs> so I'm like stuck. So I have to I have to give it a good eight hours daily. <laughs> so, yeah, hell yeah. So, so hopefully this week, Joe, you you might be announcing the game that you're directing this weekend at. Joe is directing Xbox? a game. Oh, Ooh. oh, interesting. Uh oh, we're oh. gonna have to tune into that. Yes, is, sir. It's gonna be that Thundercats game. Oh yeah. no! No, he's gonna he's gonna direct the new God of War. He's, yeah. Oh, he's, <laughs> <laughs> yo, take it back. He's like enough of this shit. It's gonna be Whatever a God got. of War three remake. Blasphemous three. <laughs> yeah. Blasphemous. <laughs> he's not content with uh, TV and movie. He's got to go to games too. Good for Uh-oh. you, man. That's gonna be like, awesome. Uh, yo, you shit. should be proud of that, Joel. Yeah, you should man. be proud of that. Congratulations, good man. Good shit. I'm That's sure whatever awesome. I'm sure whatever it is, you're gonna knock it out of the park, or you already have knocked it out of the park. And Joe, yep. you gotta find somebody to get us a ticket to go. Because <laughs> <laughs> you wanna, you wanna go. I didn't even know it was that that fast, man. Time is flying. Time yeah, flies, man. man. Yep. It flies. If you think really hard about it, you can probably guess. Um Oh yeah. Mortal Kombat? Shaolin, <laughs> Sha- Shaolin Monks 2? Oh, oh, right, oh, let's go. He's directing I mean, Mortal Kombat. Come on, man. <laughs> imagine. No, imagine he's directing Mortal Kombat. I mean, so Mortal Kombat one remake. <laughs> Wow. With all the characters who are in there, you know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. So yeah, who's, up, who's up next? Captain N. Oh, I'm next. Let me stop. <laughs> uh, Al, I'm sorry. I also played this. The game I'm going to mention, Al, I forgot to tell you. But um, I actually played Great. the demo of uh, Princess Peach Showtime. Oh, wow. <laughs> all right. I watched, I watched them play it. Uh, I, I, uh, that demo was uh, questionable. I downloaded it because <laughs> uh, yeah, no, yeah. I, I told you my my daughter was playing uh, Kirby uh, Return mm-hmm. you know, in the Forgotten Land, and she beat that to death and continues to play it. So I was like, she might like 
Princess Peach Showtime. So I download it, and it's not bad. <laughs> it's actually not. It's not a bad game. Comp- yeah, if, if you could believe it. It's I saw the, the the sword fighting look cool. That part looked cool. Yeah. And then they had a whole part where you're cooking. I'm like, ah. you did a cooking and the demo for real. It's Joe, not, yeah. Joe <laughs> said the fact that give you I give you points cause for being so close. In oh. fact, I give you points. So really, it's not Mortal Kombat. No nope. Killer Ooh. Instinct. Oh, imagine if it was. What if it was Captain N? That I said. <laughs> no. The game mess. That's yeah. not a license at all. What do you <laughs> <mean>? <laughs> That's why he can make it. <laughs> but yeah. a, as a game, you know, it's Princess Peach Show. It looks like it's going to be a good game. I've, it I've, looked uh, bad when I saw it. It's, it's not whatever. bad. You know, I, I think you know, uh, girls especially, you know, are going to you know enjoy it a lot more. You know, I, I enjoyed it. You know, so it's like it's it's all right. I don't think I'm playing it to the end. I'll help my daughter play through it and stuff like that. But it's not bad. I think some of the suits look cool. Yeah, the suits are cool. The things you do with the different powers and stuff. I was surprised she was able to beat this whole area. She was able to beat with no help. It was oh, really the, wow. The cook, oh, she swashbuckling. She was able to do this part with no help. Oh, but it nice. was she needed help with the cooking. Like she's making the cupcake part, mm. and she's not. You, <laughs> all you have to do is press the B button fast. She was not pressing it fast enough, uh, so she was like having a hard time. I was like, you learn it. You beat the sword fighting boss, but you're having a problem with this. <laughs> like, and then she's making a cake after putting frosting. I'm like, you get that, but you had a problem with this. So the thing she gets stuck at is I, I'm trying to get puzzled by, but the thing mm. she's able to do, I'm amazed by. So it's great. Kel's was like, not good enough. <laughs> I told her, I was like, what's wrong with you? No, no, <laughs> How could you? What's the matter that? with you? And not this. There is no tomorrow. Oh, like, man. Use there the, is no tomorrow. <laughs> use the other side of your brain. There is no tomorrow. <laughs> and the easy, other game. <laughs> Other than that, uh, yeah, I've been continuing uh, God of War Ragnarok. Oh, that's uh, right, you still, started it. Still playing that. Um, and I gotta tell you guys, I remember um, before we had conversations about Ragnarok, and I was like, why would mm. it be two players? Who are you gonna be, his son? I ha- I went past the part where you first play as his son. Spoiler alert. Damn, uh, yeah, oh, dear yeah, God, yeah, I haven't yeah, played great, it. Great, great, ruined it. Okay. No, no, t- no. no, I'm bro, sorry. This game's been <laughs> out for a minute. You didn't get it's been I haven't out for This game's been out for a minute. I know, but Kev ruins everything. Some people have a backlog. No, Kev. Okay, spoiler alert, he has a son. No. He has a too son. Late, too no. late, okay, and he's older in this game, All right. right? Can you get to your point? Yeah, All what right, were you going to say? He has good... No, they made him good. His moves are good, and um, yeah, he plays differently than uh, Kratos. And, uh, you know, I, I have more respect for him after I got to play, play as him. I didn't feel... He was s- cool to use. I wasn't like, oh, man... When are they going to get back to Kratos? I wasn't like that. I was like, yo. I was like, he's actually I was pretty a, nasty. He's pretty nasty. Was yeah. it Atreus? What's his name? It's like Atreus, uh, yeah. Atreus, yeah. He's he's good. His moves are good. And call him, yo, we call him Trey Money. Trey, Trey Money. Money. <laughs> Trey. <Uh-oh. laughs> Kidding. No, but it's, no, Ragnarok is still a great game. <laughs> yeah, um, the disgust on Sticks' <laughs> face when I said that. <laughs> I, I, I haven't. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> <laughs> gotta zoom in on that one. Yeah, yeah I know, right? Yeah. I haven't got to the point where I'm like, okay, Ragnarok's better than the previous one, but I'm sure I'm going to hit that, uh, but I haven't hit it yet. You should probably ask Joel. Which one uh, do you yeah. Yeah. Wow. Which part? What was your favorite part? Yeah, God of War Ragnarok. Wow. Ragnarok. <laughs> no, and then, uh, let's see, other than that, uh, Octopath Traveler 2, I got my eighth, uh, you know, my eighth. NP, not NPC, my eighth uh, party character. And um, all of them have great uh, voice actors. They got great backstories. And I'm looking forward to putting another 150 into this game. <laughs> Jesus. So Every time I see that, it makes you want to play a Super Nintendo Final Fantasy yeah. Yeah, in, that, in that form. Yeah. No, man, it's, it's a great game. I recommend it. It's got. Uh, if they're going to do Final Fantasy 3 ever, I wouldn't mind it. Looking no, like do that. Octopath, <laughs> Octopath 1 and 2. They're both worth it, man. <laughs> If you have time. two years on your, uh, you know, of time to play, <laughs> you don't so, have to so play. bad about God. I'm not commenting on your God of War garbage. <laughs> Damn. I'm um, look. I, I do all this. St- everyone's got four chapters. You don't have to do four chapters and all the right, characters. That's it. I don't, I don't, I, you don't have to do four characters and all. You can just do a couple if you want. But I'm doing every single one. I'm getting all the strongest weapons. I'm playing the secret last boss. That's just me. You don't have to do. I me. do love the pixel art with the the cool shit. That is nice. I l- it does look beautiful. Mm-hmm. I like no. the fact that they can do it. Yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> yeah. It doesn't look weird or anything. And I really, I played the demo the first. I really wanted to play it. No, so I still need to play it. it. No, you should just do it. You should play the game. I recommend Octopath. Yeah, but they uh, keep releasing new titles. It's like <laughs> it, it looks <laughs> like it looks like what. I would have imagined 
the future of video games would look like as a kid. After like Super as Nintendo. As a, like <laughs> as, yeah, yeah. as a kid, you're like, I oh. couldn't even imagine it looking like that. <laughs> yeah. well, no, I, I couldn't even. This is what I would imagine it would look like. It's the evolution of that, uh, yeah. you know, that, that pixel art style. HD 2D, I can't wait to see what uh, it was Dragon a Quest... Like uh, yeah, well, that would be <laughs> nice. No, it's it a Chrono Trigger like that. Is, you know, this, this, our is this style, a battle? It works. This is a battle right here. Yeah. Oh, that's for sure. The battle looks like this. Anything they don't want to spend tons of money on is going to say it takes forever to do. Do it like this. Yeah. I'll be fine with it. Oh, this is the Switch. The Switch, it looks great. It, on my TV, it, you know, it looks like it's 60 frames. On uh, the OLED, it, it's 30, but that's fine. But on my TV, it looks 60. But I don't know if it's a true 60 or if it's just a real... <laughs> All right, uh, Sticks, TV. what are you playing, dude? <laughs> no, yes, I have no idea, but it looks amazing. All right. So I had to take it back to some older titles this <laughs> I week. See, I see what you... Wow. So, uh, that's yeah, disgusting. I played... Battle Arena Toshinden won. Wow. <laughs> and, this is beat, a and beat the game. And beat the game. Energy. <laughs> get him off the edge. Get him off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's like I was playing. I don't know. <laughs> but I, I mean, listen, I only tried it out on an emulator to, try, to see what it was like. Oh, those polygons. I played it for a second. I beat the first two people. I was like, Yo. I'm about to beat this. <laughs> I'm about to play through the whole game. Those oh. polygons, though, man. Yo. Run, go. I had a tough time on like two of the characters. But other than that, I whipped their ass. And, you know, it's not the most polished game. <laughs> it looks old as hell now. <laughs> the polygon. Back first, in the day, When though. I first played this, after, after what, Virtual Fighter 1 for Saturn, the mm, bad-looking yeah. one, not the mm. remix, like the, the crappy-looking one. I played that. I was like, this is amazing. Yep, of course. <laughs> and you could roll around in 3D. I was like, this yeah. is dope. This it's, is sick, son. <laughs> it's definitely not now. <laughs> <laughs> no. But I can still get through the game on some garbage nonsense. Wow. None of the combos look like they hit right. Nah. <laughs> None of the dodging is smooth. Nah. But I still like to make them fall off the cliff. That's always fun. <laughs> I'll never give up. I like and it in part two when they do their celebration by the cliff. Oh, they, you know, they do it too? Yeah, yeah. If you stand close enough and they, they twirl or whatever and they yep. fall off the edge. Yep. But yeah, this guy like shoots right off the side of the thing and dies. <laughs> like if you stand near the edge, he'll, he'll shoot right over you and go right off. Wow. And I was dying. It's hilarious. But yeah, it's a chunky ass game. <laughs> and you die off like two hits sometimes. Mm. But it is what it is. It's still fun. But it has its charm. <laughs> still and has then, charm. And then I played another oldie but goodie. It was uh, Street Fighter Alpha 3. Ooh. Oh, that's a nice one. You played this instead of 6? Yeah. So like, yeah. Wow. Alpha yeah. 3 is awesome. I, played, I actually the played the alpha. arcade mode in this one. Because usually I go to World Tour mode in this. Um, I played the arcade mode. And I got all the way up to Bison. I was doing pretty damn good. And then Bison's a fuck, he's a cheater. <laughs> yeah. He's a cheater. Yeah. Dude, I fought him 11 times. I was like, dude, I, I'm beating this game. He was I'm cheating. beating this game. He's such a cheater. He He'll take cheating. your whole energy bar with his special move. Yep. You got to block level three. Cycle crash. No, I'll block, block it. He chip damaged me to death you gotta learn many how to times. Block, gotta many learn times. How to block. So I said, all right, I've beaten this game before many times. What am I doing wrong? I, put, I was on Turbo 2. I said, listen, I'm going down to Turbo 1. <laughs> and I'm going to beat this bastard and give myself enough time to do moves. So I put it down in Turbo 1, beat his ass. Right after I did that, I was like, this feels right now. <laughs> because before it was too fast, and he was he's computerized, so he can do all the moves whenever he wants to. And I wasn't getting anything out. He's such a bastard. I, <laughs> he's still one of my favorite bosses in a fighting game, though. Something about Bison is cool for him it, to beat it, a it's boss. It's a smile. Hey. Something about him, yeah, because hey. I don't really care about a lot of bosses in none of these games. But I want him to be the boss in every Street Fighter. Unfortunately, <laughs> uh, Dan, that combo was crazy. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, whoa, he's juggled the hell out of him. <laughs> he must be the second player because yeah. he's not blocking. He's not doing a damn. Nah, he's like, this is how you do it, Jay. That shit ain't that tough. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, this is how you do it. That's how you do it, yeah, yeah, player. Yeah. But, and Bison won that. <laughs> That's the crazy wow. part, right? Psycho crush. <laughs> but I didn't even remember the ending. See, it's the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, he's great. He's great. I want him to be the boss in a new Street Fighter because uh, JP is trash. And he's not even like a real uh, boss. I can't stand <laughs> He's not even like a real boss. I hate fighting JP. Oh. But um, <laughs> yeah, it, I, I didn't remember the ending. And I was like, I beat this before, though. I remember parts of it. And I was like, all right, I guess I never read it. <laughs> <laughs> I just never read the ending. You're just happy <laughs> you beat it. You're like, all right. Yeah. It's, it's always me walking away. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> but it was good. It was good. I haven't played that arcade mode in a long time. But yeah, that okay. game is awesome. Hey. That's all Fox that's said. As I mentioned in Chaco's stream, where's the Street Fighter Two side scrolling brawl? I know I don't mean Final Fight. It's mm -hmm. called it's called Final Fight. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Guardian Heroes. 
No, it's called what? Guardian it's Hero. Hero. It's, it's called like Street a... Fighter 2010. <laughs> you never played it on right. Nintendo. Oh. <laughs> that guy's name was Ken, too, right? It was a Ken. Was Ken. It, was it was the Ken, bro. That, that was, was bad. Ken, really? That was In not that game? Ken. No, that was Ken. not that was Ken. 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 That is not Ken. Oh, it was supposed to be Ken Masters. It's oh, not Ken Masters. I guarantee you that's not his name. It's supposed to be Ken, bro. It's fucking bad. Dude, that storyline is trash if it is. It is. But I beat that game. It's the toughest game ever. One Hold on, let me see. It was, it was, it was, Watch your mouth. It was a pretty hard ass game. Oh, Street no. Fighter 2010, the final fight. There it yeah. is. <laughs> the final <laughs> fight. Yeah, it's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> there's your, there's no, your this side scroll and beat. I think I rented this from Blockbuster. Oh, no, I tricked everyone. <laughs> I rented this from Blockbuster because I saw <laughs> Street Fighter. I'm like, what? This is the worst what April the Fool hell? joke <laughs> Yo, of dude. all time. I rented it's this. It's English localization, changed the name and backstory of the main character <laughs> to imply that he is Ken from Street Fighter. He's not. <laughs> no. He's but not. in the Japanese version, it's a completely unrelated character. Look at that. Exactly. Look what it says. It says it there, dude. Ken had no. No interest in the frontier. <laughs> He's trash and not really part of the story. Uh, <laughs> Ken was king forward. of Street Fighter. Look at this. But according to, trash Wiki- game, according to Wikipedia, the player controls Ken, a former martial arts champion <laughs> who, at, who has been Ken. given cybernetic implants. Look at that. It's Ken Masters. Dude, that's oh, like God. Strider Ken. <laughs> Look at this. This game is tough, dude. This game is terrible, man. This game is tough. That's Ken Masters, man. That's what you're talking about, right? How come you can, yeah. can you get that Cafe, suit in Street Fighter Six? Cafe, <laughs> Fox. Cafe Fox, this is what you want, right? Yo, <laughs> yo, he's Street like, Fo- get that off my screen. Oh, turn off this platforming, bro. Bro, this game is Chill. trash, dude. And I beat this game. Yo, I had oil scrolling on every game. stage. I hope yeah. that wasn't every not stage. Every stage. No, not oh, every okay, stage. Thank God. Okay. Sometimes just stuck on the screen. Where's the, the dragon? Where's the dragon punch? Dude, the last. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's in 2010, technology has advanced to the point that any person can easily travel from one planet to another <laughs> through the use of interplanetary warp gates. Dude, the story. Ken line. has retired from his fighting career <laughs> after winning the Street Fighter circuit 25 years before. Jesus. <laughs> and has since become a gifted scientist. <laughs> wow! Where's his wife and kid, huh? Wow. Yeah, exactly, oh, no, man. Right? It's an alternate know. universe, man. Dude, what if they had his story kind of go that way? <laughs> in oh, Street Fighter 6. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. Stop. He was a scientist. Sir, stop. And they had a secret suit, a bionic a suit. A scientist. There's a multiverse. In, uh, yeah. Yeah. And that version think, comes from the future. I don't, I don't think it's 2010 yet, then. Right. I don't think it's 2010 yet. Yeah, oh. yeah. Here it is. Dude. And it definitely didn't happen. That's fucking So terrible. he comes back from the future. Dude, there's a boss rush <laughs> on the last stage. It's, oh, it's terrible. Wow. Uh, That's a terrible fucking All right. <laughs> that, was, that was terrible. Thanks for that, Cafe Fox. <laughs> I am playing the obvious Unicorn Overlord. Oh, you know the name now. Yeah, I, oh, I know it. <laughs> I know it. I got 20, I'm going to say 22 or 23 hours into this. Uh, already? Yeah, 25% of the map unlocked. just got yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I just got to like this new part of the like the continent or whatever. Oh my god, it's it's <laughs> it's, uh, it's 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 overwhelming every time I play this game. Overwhelming. I don't know. I'll sit there for thirty minutes trying to move different characters into different groups because I don't because I need a healer here. I need I know I need somewhere over here. I have to keep moving characters on what works better, and it's so addicting just doing that. So this is one of the games of the generation for you. Oh my god, dude. I fought some tough ass battle yesterday. Mm. Oh my god! I was like, "This is getting difficult. <laughs> this is starting to get difficult." <laughs> so I don't even know if you know this, Turbo. Like, if you're if you run into an enemy on the screen, and it says, you know, you're gonna get attacked that much, you're gonna lose that much energy. You go to organize and move your characters around, and it changes. Yeah. And I said, "God damn." It. That's true. It's <laughs> like it's. I was just, god damn it, man. You're sometimes getting that uh, that point where it's just like, shit. I don't want this person, this unit, fighting this unit. I'm just like, what do I do? But then it's like you can sometimes move people on the squares to kind of like, uh, you know, get the fa- you get the numbers in your favor. So it's I, I didn't I discovered that today. Actually. So the unit, so like the universe is unit thing. It's like kind of like a rock paper scissors type thing. No, so like it's a positioning <laughs> thing. Yeah, it's um, it's so hard to fucking explain. I have the high ground. It's <laughs> like it's so hard to explain. You could have like a, a healer, an archer, uh. uh guy with a big ass shield and a fucking fighter in the same group but if you position your healer behind everyone they're not going to get attacked if you move your uh shield guy in the front he's going to take the brunt of the attacks and you could like adjust how everyone uses their move according to who you're facing and according to what their energy is or what their class is dude it's so overwhelming but in the best way possible it's like playing chess while playing chess (laughs) (laughs) chess while playing 
The um, I've never played uh, the Ogre Battle uh, games, but a lot of people make com- uh, comparisons to it. I played Ogre Battle yeah. for uh, I think it was the Game Boy Advance, and um, eh. <laughs> yeah. wow, wasn't that like I, the granddaddy of them all? Yeah, though? I saw a lot of a lot of people bring up because I'm a I'm a Shining Force uh, Fire Emblem guy, so I'm used to playing my RPGs like that. Dragon Force, um, I no Romance the, of the Three Kingdoms. No, <laughs> no, definitely <laughs> That's not. Ancient yeah. times. I've never, never did that. But I'll tell you what, like after I played last night and I got this character whose character design looks like, reminds me of Guts. He looked cool. Yeah. I said, this is climbing up as one of my favorite games I've ever played. Jesus. It's, it's, right. it's, 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 and it's 20 Good later, luck, Joel. Joel. Um, I'm 25% the, the way through. And Already? I'm, and so I'm it's a 100 hour game. 25, 25% of the map, should mm. I say. Oh, really? I'm okay. 21 hours in, but 25% of the map. So you're not even. So, like, the and I just, <laughs> I just got to the second area. I think there's five. I just got to the second area, and I mm. still think there's two or three uh, or f- two or three more battles in the first area I was in that I can do, but their level's too high. Mm-hmm. The funny thing is, as an experiment before I went to bed, uh, I'm at, like, level, let's say, 15. Mm-hmm. The battle's level 28. I said, I could probably rock with this. Let me, s- let me see. And, you know, it's not a big battle. And I was able to, like, kill, like, three of them. So then this one group shot out of the, the enemy camp, like, like fast, like <laughs> cavalry. I said, who's this dude moving, man, quick? He eliminated every group I had easily. <laughs> he said they're all dead. Oh, boom, dead, 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 dead. Yeah, I said, yeah. okay, good. Good thing I saved. We're not doing this battle right now. <laughs> we are not doing And I was using all my items just to see if I could beat him. Nope, there wasn't a shot now. Damn. Yeah, so when, when you see someone at level 38 and you're like 30, no, don't do it. Don't do it. You have to be around that level. Hitstar said he, you'd love uh, Ogre Battle 64. You need to play it. And I, play I, Dragon Force if you do. <laughs> you know, I liked it. Ogre Battle, I, it's 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 a quality, it's a good quality strategy role play. The one I play for Game Boy Advance. It's like, but, 64. But I'm, with 64, I will give it a I shot. I'm very picky I, with my, my strategy games. Character design's got to be on point or I'm not touching them. He doesn't even like well, Final Fantasy Tactics. No, I don't. As one of them, I won't right? play it because... Um, <laughs> Character design I wasn't crazy about, and when they're on the map, they're moving like this in one place. <laughs> I hate that shit. It doesn't feel like a war. What are you? What are you doing? We're you all moving like this. In one stretching. Place. Triangle strategy <laughs> is dope, and there's no reason to play Final Fantasy Tactics if you play Triangle Strategy. And, and it's funny Damn. too because I just got this article right here. It says Final Fantasy Tactics director encourages fans wanting to play a remake to play Unicorn Overload instead. Overload. Overload. Over- overload. <laughs> overload. <laughs> Unicorn Contra Overload. overload. No. <laughs> Unicorn. Overlord is it's a different game. I'm telling you, it's not. It, it's everything they do, everything the game does is blows me away. I'm just like, this is, like, this is crazy. This is crazy, and I'm 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 afraid to finish this game. It looks mm-hmm. good watching it. Like I'm not even gonna it play does. it. And it, it does. Lo- it looks, looks good. good. Voice acting, it looks good. animation, they sound move effects, their mouth. <laughs> they move their mouth action for every word. Yeah. Moves, <laughs> strategy, enemies, uh, uh, the fucking shops, the shopkeepers, everything is incredible yeah. in that game. But is it Vandal Hearts? <laughs> is it Vandal <laughs> Shit, you'll never play Vandal Hearts again. That's <laughs> but um, that is the, um, you're going to be hearing the, about this game for the next <laughs> <couple of players. laughs> for a while. So, But um, yeah, that's the only thing I'm playing right now. Cool. As that's I should nice. be. Cool, cool. All right. That concludes the show, y'all. But let me tell you a little bit more about it. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoy. Nope. Nope. He said nope. <laughs> no. Shout out to Dick Lucas for showing us. Lucas! For an awesome show. Yes. Hope it was great for him to drop in. Yeah. And if you guys are checking this podcast out for the first time and you guys can't get enough of Level 857, we got some more content for you coming in the form of a streaming schedule. Let's play Sunday. Sunday. Starting 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We got uh, some uh, multiplayer games in the co-op and the versus variety. I think we're doing double co-op this week. Mm-hmm. Follow us on social media to find out what we're going to be playing. But um, I will spill the beans on one of them. Six, uh, six o'clock p.m. is probably going to be that Contra Operation Galuga. Four-player arcade mode we should be tackling on that. So uh, come through for that. Um, that's going to be awesome. 
by the Fridays. What you got going on, Chaco? I'm torn between like three games. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. It's either going to be Tekken 8, Mortal Kombat 1, or WWE 2K24. Oh. That's right. I'm oh. torn. 24. 24 is so out. Torn. And they got freaking Mr. Perfect in the DLC. And I don't, and I don't want to <laughs> do like. Uh, like a medley where I split the time between two different games or Why three not? different games. Vegetable? Nah, because they all deserve their they all deserve their own like right. You know what I mean? Vegetable medley. <laughs> no, no, so no. I might have to so I might have to stream <laughs> one on Friday night and like stream something on on Saturday. <laughs> we'll no, see. You might have to do. Them. We'll see. You might have to do. No them. double feature, man. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't don't know. Feature, man. That's okay. It's all right. It's rough. I don't want to do a double. You do like a feature. match. Just one? After the fight again. It's never going to stop at just one. What's up to you? What's up to you? We'll see. Follow the social media to find out what Chocolate's going to do. Or tune into his stream because he just might flip it on the fly. You never know. And then we have... down to the chat. Then, unfortunately, (laughs) Akira Toriyama passed away last week. Uh, Oh, no, no. Maybe like a couple weeks ago, but they just announced it last week. Rest in peace. So I'm tempted to play Dragon Ball Fighters. Yeah, man. But, you know... I'm tempted. We'll see. We'll see what happens, guys. Yeah, I'll make yeah. a decision. And then on Wednesday, 7:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have this show right here at the podcast with all five of us, yeah. eccentric, charismatic host. Yeah. We got the live chat. You guys always bringing the fire, making this place a party. We got people listening at home. Always make sure that they keep the uh, lights on. And the bills paid. And then if we have uh, a guest, they're going to be awesome as well. You've seen the guest that's been coming through here lately from Victor Lucas, Hit Star Studios, Rec- Record Games, Radical Reggie, Media Glitch. It's just you never know what's going to happen. So make sure you follow social media. Join that Discord. Find out who's going to be next. It's always a party up in here, y'all. And yes. hit the like button also if you're watching on YouTube because uh, that helps us out. Hell yes. Yeah, man. Hell yes. So, oh, yeah. And if... Um, you know, you dig the podcast. Best way to support us is uh, share this with friends and family. Uh, rate, review us on your preferred podcasting platform, wherever you get your podcasts. And uh, always look in the description for more ways you can do that as well. But uh, spread the word. Yeah, man. Yeah. Spread the word. Yeah, baby. Yeah, man. Hell yes. And, uh, and with that note, it's been fun, y'all. Until next week. Peace. Oh, it's a pleasure, y'all. Thank you, guys. Appreciate y'all. Level